granddad over here starting his live stream hello everybody welcome to the second ever whatnot live stream uh, if you don't know who i am i am will robson i'm a comic book artist and writer and i work for such companies as marvel dc image idw if they make comics then i've probably worked for them and what we're doing is we're going to be inking this bad boy up i penciled this before this is from my book outbreaks which is a zombie anthology comic um and it's coming to kickstarter for the third issue april 15th which is like what nearly a week away oh my god it's really popped up quick i'm in the middle of fulfillment right now actually for issue two so these came in the print order and uh i'm really happy about that so uh this is actually sort of like an early chance to get them i'm fulfilling the order so if you did back the first campaign or actually the second campaign thank you very much uh, me and my wife have just committed our lives to fulfilling the orders, working all day every day to make sure everyone gets their comics. But there's plenty of chances to get all the Outbreaks covers for issue two, and even the Whatnot exclusive cover. That's right. We got Whatnot exclusives now. Let's take a peek at that, shall we? So for issue one, I printed a Just for Whatnot, you see there exclusive cover and if you could see in the light whoa it's got cool shinies um i don't remember how many i printed of uh these i think maybe 25 or 30 of them and i'll keep printing them but i'll make sure the numbers change on the barcode so that people know that they got first pressing because that to me is very important as a collector myself we also have whatnot exclusive trading cards as well now that's right, I am going full all in in whatnot. So how about we start this with, oh, here's the, here's the trading card we got. This is the Matrix Z shiny exclusive. You see it says whatnot exclusive up there. Only 100 of these ever printed, and I will never print this again. So get them while you can. And this, I think every bid starts at like one quid as well. So yeah, uh, let's, uh, what should we do first? Does anybody want me to run anything? I know some people have, favorited some stuff or we could start immediately with a giveaway it's up to you guys and thank you very much for joining i hope everyone's had a nice day i know the weather there's currently like a storm going on i believe outside and can everyone hear me all right the music's not too loud or anything well not is the future of comics for sure yeah i think so it's a really great place to connect with people, and um, you know, it's kind of, this is kind of like you're sitting at my booth at a comic convention. I've got stuff for sale. I'm doing drawings, and I can answer any questions. Like it's like a, it's a, it's really cool. I've seen a few other creators come to whatnot as well. I just realized I haven't erased this yet. How many hours do I spend on a cover? Um, depends on the cover, but right now I'm kind of working at a, a pace of one day. Oh, there's a huge rainbow outside. That's lovely. Sorry, I get distracted by stupid stuff like that. Um, usually it takes me a day to pencil and then a day to ink, whether it's a cover or a page. Uh, but I am busy doing other stuff. Like I kind of right now I've made it so that my mornings are working on outbreaks and whatever Kickstarter fulfillment or Mobster Mash that's coming this year as well. I've, I've started to dedicate more time to me and the projects that I want to see uh, come to fruition. Uh, and then I spend my evening, oh, afternoon, like post lunch to evening, working on my client work, whether that's uh, working for DC, which I'm doing currently or if it's doing um, a creator own cover or whatever else that someone has hired me to draw. So technically, I guess I could get like everything done in one day if I hustled, but I don't, you know, the fact that I now spend half my day working on my own stuff in a weird way makes me quicker and better at doing uh, my client stuff. So does anybody want to, to me to run anything? Does anybody send anything, Lou? Okay, so 
yeah so what happens is if you are international and the shipping cost looks a bit bigger uh it means that if you buy something again it all becomes bundled up you don't pay shipping on every single one it will change it it will let you know so if you get a couple of comics the shipping will be cheaper it won't be the same shipping every time that's right they're based on the total weight of the order The Batman card, we can run that. By the way, this is my first time drawing this character from my book. This is Jimmy Peters. Uh, you can kind of, he's right there. Um, I've never actually drawn this character before. So it's kind of fun for me doing this for the first time. And this is being given away at the end of this stream, this drawing. And the way that you win this is that if you are a member of my Patreon at the top level, which I think is called like the, the Trading Card Club or something like that, then um, you can win this drawing. Uh, the giveaways we figured it out hopefully that it's all um international now because i think we just had to click a certain thing to make an international which we've done this time so it should be worldwide shall we run this batman card then Where can you get Outbreaks 1 now? Um, you can either get the Whatnot exclusive that uh, is available here. Uh, there's also the MEFCC exclusive. I got a couple of those left, so I'll be running those today as well. Uh, but the best bet is to go to Kickstarter next week, uh, not next week, the following week, April 15th, and you can get the new cover there because we sold out the first cover and now uh, there's a brand new cover drawn by me. So you can get that. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do it. Boogie Wonderland. Okay, so the current pins are turned back to start. Yeah, I gotta make sure I show it first, remember? <laughs> Okay, so up first we have uh, a Michael Keaton Batman sketch card that I drew in 2020. I think I drew this during the pandemic, actually. If you see in the back, you can see that I started by trying to draw something else. You see the blue lines there, uh, and I gave up, and then I did this. So let's run this bad boy starting now, and I will sign this on stream like along with every single other thing I'm selling today to make sure that everybody – can get guaranteed signed stuff that you know is legit. We're at 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just the Obi-Wan. How's it going? Thanks. It's nice to see you again. Congratulations. You just won the Michael Keaton trading card. Great job. I will sign it for you right now. Let's do it in a place where you'll be able to see it. There you go. All signed up for you. There we go. And if I'm if I suddenly become a little at low energy, please let me know. I've just been uh, having lots of sleepless nights putting together this Kickstarter. I've actually been making a video series about it. Uh, I've had many headaches of. Uh, I received a whole box of issue two, all the covers, which is like over 300 comics, and they had all the interiors of issue one in them. It was a nightmare. But luckily the printer uh, made the correction very quick and was able to send out the right stuff uh, a couple days later. And then when I finally sat down to start doing fulfillment, I realized that I had no bags and boards left, even though I could have sworn I had enough and... We've had other roadblocks of this, that, and the other. And yeah, it's been quite a fulfillment process this time around. Kickstarters are no joke. Like, it's uh, it's a lot of work. But uh, I am surviving on booze and love from my dog, not my wife. <laughs> Just kidding. Just 
Thank you. We'll go lovely against the main one. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can follow me anywhere on social media at Robson Inc. And that's R O B S O N I N K. Let's run a Whatnot exclusive, shall we? The first ever Whatnot exclusive cover. So, again, this is issue one. Ooh, and it's got fun, jazzy patterns on it. The cover is by Monica McCagney, who is the interior artist. What I did was I took this splash page here and I made it the cover. And I think I'm going to make a whatnot exclusive for issue two as well. And it's going to, I'm going to keep using Monica as, as the cover artist for it. So there you all have synchronicity. So let's start this off. I'm starting these off at a bit of a higher price because they are an exclusive item. Um, so let's start the bidding at eight pounds. Starting now, Mr. Echoes is bid. Thank you, Mr. Echoes. And remember, this will be signed by me live on the stream. We're at 12, 15. Ooh, is it going to go? Can you run Carnage Reigns? Uh, we can. We'll run that next. Oh, someone bid at the last minute, Picard. And Star Trek's coming at the last second. Oh, Mr. Echoes really wants it. We're all rooting. Well, I'm rooting for all you guys. Why, why would I play favorites? Yeah, we are running five of these today. Mr. Echoes. Mr. Echoes, congratulations. You have won the first ever Outbreak Spot No exclusive cover. Congratulations. That is, this is the first ever one. Hopefully one of many. I'm going to get it signed up for you. I've never even signed one of these before. So this will be my first signature on one of these as well. There we go. <sighs> Proof of signature right there. Signed by me. The first ever one. First one I've ever signed. First one uh, has ever been purchased. Congratulations, Mr. Echoes. This one is for you. I could probably actually put them in the, the drawer afterwards. Sorry, we're talking a little back shop there. We will run the carnage reins next. Uh, if I don't see all the questions, I'm sorry. It's because the phone is above me. My wife will try and um, call that stuff out. I believe if you have a question mark at the end of what you say, then it comes up in gold text or something like that. So it's easier to to pick up. Reese said, who's your favorite Irish comic artist? My favorite Irish comic artist is not Reese Hannigan. It's Declan Shelby. <laughs> Just kidding. It's both of you equally. My favorite up and coming Irish artist is Reese Hannigan. Shout out to Reese Hannigan, who landed recently his first job in comics, working for Dark Horse Comics. Reese, why don't you tell people where they can find you online? Reese is the first ever member of my Patreon. Uh, lovely guy, very supportive. And I wish him all the best. I know he's going to go super far in this industry. Oh, and also he drew um, one of the pages in this book. Let's have a look at it, shall we? We get to see it in print for the first time, bud. Where is it? There it is. So me and Reese teamed up. Uh, on this image, he made the whole concept of it, uh, penciled it, inked it, and I just came in and I did a few little tweaks just to make it fit more of the vibe of the book. And boom, there we go. Uh, so, Reese, this is your first time seeing it in print. There it is, bud. Love and fashion, love and All right, next we're going to run Carnage Reigns, which is one of the best-looking uh, books I think I've, I've worked on. People ask me how they can get the sketch that you're doing right now. So the way you win this sketch is uh, it's this is uh, to do with my Patreon. If you head over to my Patreon, you can sign up for the top tier, which is Trading Card of the Month member, 
and I send you a free signed trading card every month anyway. Uh, so those members on my Patreon uh, are always automatically entered into a chance to win every sketch that I draw every single month. And I believe the last two times uh, have been won by a single person, right? So, you know, that's the guy only spent 20 quid and got 400 quid's worth of art. So that's a good deal, in my opinion. Run Let's run the carnage, shall we? All right, here we go. This is that. Uh, this I think this is the only Marvel book that I'm running today. I think we have two of these. Um, this is a the cover by Ryan Stegman, uh, who is a terrible comic book artist. Just kidding. He's one of the best in the business. Uh, and I worked on a, a story in this because this is a collection of stories. Let's see if we can find it here. Here's my story. I worked on this. I got to draw this really cool splash page with uh, Venom and Carnage. It was my first time drawing the character, and I really love Carnage. I think I sold this page uh, when I was out in Dubai. Uh, yeah, so that's this is one of the stories that I did. It's a thicker book, as you can see. Uh, it's it's more, more than your regular page count. I think it's like 30 or 40 pages, kind of like a double-sized issue, so... That's this one here, and I've only got two left, and then the, once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, if I can find them anywhere else, I'll try. It is tough to get my my comps these days, so we will see. So let's run this bad boy. Oh, starting at only five pounds signed. Starting now. Yes, if you hear snoring, it is my dog snoring in the background. So this will be signed by me uh, live on the stream. And we are currently at nine, ten. It also comes with a little bit of a boogie. You know that I touched it with my boogie fingers. That, that might make the, the bed go down, actually. Not booger fingers, boogie fingers. Remember, we do have one more of these going as well. Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> Your work laptop at the top of the screen. Felipe, oh, Felipe. Felipe Cortez, congratulations. You won this. Where can you buy Outbreaks other than here? It looks all right. Thank you. Uh, you can buy Outbreaks at, on my Kickstarter starting April 15th. Uh, I don't sell it in a store or anything. It, it, it's I'm keeping it more exclusive to Kickstarter and for whatnot. Uh, I'm hoping to get it in comic book stores around the world in the future. But for now, it is for the... Awesome folks that support it. All right, let's find a spot to sign this, shall we? Let's see here. I think that's a good spot right there because you can see the signature. Boom. There you go, Felipe. That's who won it, right? Yeah. Congratulations, Felipe. Well bid. This one's yours. It's proof of signature right there. Carnage Reigns. Again, that is my French bulldog snoring in the background. Or it's either my wife having a huge fart. Hey. As she is known to do around these parts. Oh, yeah. so you. What? <laughs> if anybody out there is an artist and wants to know the stuff that I'm using to ink this with, I'm using a Food and Soke uh, sort of bendy Tombow brush pen. I like these because they're the closest I can get to my digital lines because I do most of my work digitally. So it's actually quite more, it's more rare to find any of my work traditionally out there in the wild. Zooks says WrestleMania predictions. Oh, how's, how's it going, Zooks? Um, WrestleMania predictions. For, tonight is night one, I believe. Uh, I think that The Rock and uh, I believe it's still Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins versus The Rock and Roman Reigns night one. And I think that they will uh, win. And by they, I mean The Rock. And so that it will be pandemonium night two and then i hope i really hope night two outcomes uh stone cold but i don't think it will i know mgf is a free agent right now 
So I, it would be crazy if it was the reason that Cody Rose's story continues without him getting the championship is because MGF comes out of nowhere and ruins his opportunity to get the belt. That would be crazy. It would get a lot of heat immediately on MJF. Uh, but, you know, it would be awesome to see Stone Cold versus The Rock just one more time. Just to hear that glass shatter and to see Rock take one of those those stunners as well as he does, that would be great. So those are my predictions. But knowing WWE, it won't be any of that, and it'll just be crap and not entertaining at all. Has it been the Bills? He's the man in the middle. Okay, so what do people want me to run? Anybody want anything particular? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, we started filming our actual faces on it now. We're not just faces for radio anymore. It says you, you married me. <laughs> you married... You're admitting that you married an ugly person. No, I'm not ugly. I'm incredibly handsome, actually. Like, shockingly handsome. Like, you see me in person, you're like, wow. This guy has it. He's got it. There is a number six amongst... I think I think most of them are seven. So I think. Okay. You double cross, cause he's the man in the middle. Never say it. Now this piece is already like I didn't mean it, but it's coming out very Arthur Adamsy. I've been actually been looking at some of his work recently. And loving what he's been doing. All right. Uh, are we running both of these? Are we? This one? Check this out, guys. Look at this. Love me some Lee Bameho, right? What an amazing comic book artist. I've met him before. He's a really nice guy. Uh, I'm going to contact him to try and get him to do a cover for Outbreaks because, man, could you imagine Lee Bameho drawing the Matrix Z? It would be like a match made in heaven. So. He will hopefully definitely be a cover artist one day. I'm definitely going to try and get him to do that. Anyway, this is the Joker who managed to stop laughing, number six. I worked on this book, and I worked on the backup story for this, which is a bunch of silly, fun shenanigans. Where's my work? Where is my work? Here it is. This is actually my first time drawing um, the Joker professionally, I believe. Uh, and I had a lot of fun. I, I was working out how I wanted to draw my Joker. I couldn't figure it out. I had him with like a bit of a longer hair, like the seventies look at first, uh, and then then I have him with a bit of a shorter hair. You can see me really figuring it out, and by the time it's done, uh, I think I give him a bit of a shorter cut, right there. You see, so I had a lot of fun doing this book. Joker's one of my he's my favorite character, comic book character definitely. So if you get this, you're getting my work drawing my favorite comic book character besides the Matra Z, obviously. So let's start the bidding at five pounds and again this will come signed by your boy thank you yeah i did that completely on purpose he stole my balloons it's currently at 15 squids My dog is really snoring. Scotty Holly. Ooh, wee, ooh, I look just like Scotty Holly. Scotty, thank you so much for your support on this, bud. And thank you for your support in general. Scotty is a huge uh, supporter of my work. Love him to bits. Thank you for always listening to the pod and backing my projects. You are the man. Let's get this signed up for you. Boom. Now, you're the only other person that owns a signed one of these besides me because I only they only gave me two copies uh, in comps. So I have the signed one, and now you have a signed one. So 
we will share that. But thank you so much. There is your signed Joker, the man who stopped laughing, number six. Mr. X What's your favorite variant for Outbreaks number two so far? My favorite variant for Outbreaks number two so far? I think in print, uh, cover C came out really well. The uh, the Tom McFarlane homage, it looks really cool. Um, but I, I do love the PlayStation 1 homage I did. And actually, I really love the Greatest Hits one with the green down the side. So I would say that that is probably my favorite cover. Besides... Um, uh, the main cover by Alex Cormack, obviously, because he really knocked it out of the park. And fun fact, I colored the main cover. So a rare, a rare sight at me doing the cover. And I'm getting super art adam -Z with this. That's the truth. Scott was a special. <laughs> you should, Scott. You should. Yeah, of course. Now, which Resident Evil 2 homage are you talking about? There's three of them. There's the regular one, the Greatest Hits one, and the PAL one. Hello, I see lots of people joining. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What we're doing here is we're dip, giving away drawings and we're selling comics, baby. And I'm answering any questions you got on the comic book industry. I'll do a refresh on social media picture. Sure thing. If you uh, would like to follow me on social media, you can follow me at Robson Inc. And that's Robson I-N-K. You can stay up to date on what I'm working on in terms of my Marvel and DC work, or follow me for my creator own work like Outbreaks, which is this bad boy. And if you want to win this drawing, then this is for my Patreon members who are signed up at the top tier of my Patreon, which is the trading card tier where you get a free trading card signed by me, sent to your door every single month, and also the chance to win this along with a free, a chance to win a signed comic by me which we will also be running today as well. So do they say do they say which one they want to be run? No. Uh, let's just let's just start running one. Oh, cover J. Cover J, I believe that is this one right here. Yeah, this was added the last minute to um, the Kickstarter. This is the PAL region. So if you're from Europe or the UK, this is the Resident Evil that you grew up with. In fact, I can show you. Exactly what it's homaging right here. You see, there's Resident Evil 2. That's what it looked like on... Uh, PlayStation 1. And no, this is not up for auction. This is mine. And that's the homage. You see? Isn't that neat? I think that's pretty neat. So let's run it, baby. No freebie with the comic. Man, retro games have shot up in price. It's crazy. I used to collect them as a hobby and now you have to really spend a lot on it that's why i've switched my collecting focus right now to comics i'm currently collecting the whole walking dead run and it's much more affordable we got dean's comics winning and dean's comics won congrats wow 10 quid what a bargain man you're getting this signed for a tenner. congratulations i don't think i can use a black sharpie to sign this one so that's right if anybody missed out we do have more available let's get this signed up here we go who won it again dean's comics this is for you oh yeah look at that press dean's signature 
Congratulations. Dean's Comics, this one is for you, pal. Signed up, ready to go for an absolute bargain as well. That's what not what not's about though, is, is the chance to to get bargains. I, I do actually I, I use whatnot a lot myself. Um as my wife can attest to when random packages show up. Because I like to uh collect the Walking Dead and Spawn. So I'm always I, I've seen a few people in the chats uh that are are in this stream. And uh we go comic hunting and it's fun. Jake has joined the stream with hello, Ross and Hello. Um, I'll get to talk about your oh, it's uh, Jake I'm doing the commission for. Yeah, so Jake's booked a commission. For, anybody who's a fan of the podcast I do, Batman the Animated Series podcast, Jake has commissioned me to do uh, a drawing of both um, Two Face and Mr. Freeze. Uh, as schoolyard bully Harv and schoolyard bully Mr. Freeze. So that's going to be a lot of fun to draw that. Um, I'm looking forward to it. By the way, Jake, I, I think you said on A4, but I never gave you the option that you can get it done on a sketch cover as well if that's that's what you would like. It's up to you. So I think I have a Batman sketch cover somewhere. How's it going, Comic Art 1981? I hope that all your comic hunting's been good recently. And I hope that you're doing well. Can you uncover F? Cover F. That is. We're going insane over here, trying to remember everything. It's the Cormac Noir. Cormac Noir. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay. Cover F. Poor Mac Noir. Only 50 of these ever printed. Once they're gone, I will never reprint them again. That's how it goes with all the Noir covers. And that's what I'll be doing with uh, Tony Moore's cover for issue three. By the way, if you don't know, I've got the co-creator of The Walking Dead as the main cover artist for issue three. So come April 15th when we go live, Tony Moore, the guy who co-created Rick Grimes, has drawn the cover. So, in fact, I can give you a little tease of it right Hang on. Is that the first time you've told people that? Uh, I think I told it in the in the podcast, but here's a preview of his amazing cover. And there'll be Texas versions of this and Noir versions, all that stuff. But let's focus on Cormac's amazing work. So this is how Cormac handed in the piece to me, right? He, this, is, this was his finished cover, and I was like, that looks incredible. Um, and then what I did was I just kind of made a layer underneath his art and added all the colors, and I just so tried to make it all pop and individualize it a little bit more. So let's run this bad boy, shall we? And again, this will, of course, be signed by me. Okay, running now. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Again, uh, at the retail value of this on the back, as you can see, is $24.99 uh because that's what it, i sell it for because they are limited exclusive items that i tried you know it's nice to as a collector myself it's nice to have things that you know are legitimately rare you know what i'm saying mr echoes, mr. echoes you won 14 quid there you go you got that yourself an absolute bargain you save money who needs kickstarters when you could just buy it here no please back the kickstarter otherwise the book doesn't get made let's get that signed up for you Boom. Sign. If you ever find Alex Cormack at a convention, try and get him to sign it as well. There you go, bud. Thank you so much for your support. Mr. Echoes, that one is for you. Right. Let's run a uh, giveaway, shall we? And it's going to be one that's for followers of the show, which I think is the trading cards, right? We'll have that going on in the background. Gonna get some inking done real quick. Okay, so what do people have to do to win this? Okay, I believe 
that this is for anybody who who follows me on whatnot. I think you just have to click follow on whatnot or something like that. But this, as you can see, is a Matra Z whatnot exclusive shiny train card. Only 100 of these ever printed. I won't print this again. And I will sign it live on here. All you got to do is follow me, baby. Can't wait for Mobs to Mesh. Neither can I, Scotty. Neither can I. I cannot wait to get finally get that book out. And it'll be nice to have a book on Kickstarter that's written and drawn by me. Uh, I might try and color it as well. I might just try and use it as an excuse to do every single process of the comic book making. And my brother, co-host of Batman the Animated Series, will be the editor on it. So, uh, is the giveaway right? You have to follow me in order to enter into this one? You don't know? Is it right, folks? You got to just follow me to get this one? I think that's right. Everyone's saying, yeah, okay, cool. And I, I'm pretty sure I've set it to international now, so people watching outside of the UK should hopefully be able to enter into this giveaway as well. Jake would like his commission on a sketch cover, if possible. Awesome. Can do. And also said, did you go for the classic art design of Monster Yeah, I, I, I am going for the classic art design. Um, only because I, it, well, it just fits it fits the mood right for it. Uh, you can see it actually because it's there's a preview of it on the back of all uh, the covers. So this is kind of like you see it's it's just like Dead Eye Dick with the old school C Y M K coloring. I just think it fits th the mood right. Uh, I am going to try and make the flats feel a bit like I don't know if you've seen uh, Greg Capullo and Scott Snyder's Batman Zero Year. But they used a lot of neon in it, and I really liked that look. And I thought that would play well with like a hot-looking Hollywood uh, retro sort of comic book feel. So that's what I'm gonna try and go for. Oh, and my wife came up with the title "Mobster Mash," so I can thank her for that amazing title. Shall we run a? Auction in the background for giveaway. Yep. These comments are asking Joker 7 sketch. The Joker sketch. It's the one. So I didn't sketch that cover. It, that was an April Fool's prank one, right? Ah, yeah. Is this the one you're talking about? This is such a weird cover because it's actually. It feels like uh, it's actually like a sketch cover, like this. Like it's, you can draw on it, and it looks like it was hand drawn. I believe uh, Tom did Tom King do this drawing. Let's see. That's got to be credit somewhere. I'm not sure. It's quite a uh, an interesting cover, right? I remember when it came, I was like, "What the hell? Where do you?" April Fool's variant cover. Issue seven, Rosenberg, Katie. Oh, look, it's me. <laughs> That's my name. And this is number seven, which was a fun backup story drawn by me. I loved this page. I sold this page recently. Um, and that's a really fun look. If you any fans of Batman the Animated Series out there, you can tell by the way I was drawing these folks. Oh, look, there's a character that I may or may not be drawing right now. Don't pay no mind to that. Uh, this was a really fun story. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing jokers like running for president. Uh, we had a lot of fun on this book. So let's run it. I think this is a pretty rare cover as well. And I will sign it. Live. Now. We are starting it. We are running it. My dog is snoring away. She's had a busy day, haven't you, darling? Are you tired? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, man, this one's shooting up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's quite rare now. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Certainly the last one that I got. Going once, going twice. Sold to Z10 for 20 squids. Congratulations, Z10. Let's get you signed up. I'm going to sign down here.
Bada bing, bada boom. Look at the door like giveaway. It's ending in 10 seconds. Giveaways coming up soon. There you go, Z10. Thank you so much for your support. Giveaways drawing in one oh. second. Here comes the giveaway. Who's going to win? Dean's Comics. Dean's Comics. Congratulations. You just won this. The first ever. Ready? You're going to get the first ever signed one. The first ever Whatnot exclusive. Matra Z shiny trading card. Do -do -do, clap your hands. Congratulations, bud. That will be with your order. How many how many giveaways are we running? Because I think last time we had them like always going on in the background, didn't we? We have got seven giveaways to give away. Cool. Yeah, I know some so I'm giving away a lot of original art um on this stream, but the only way you can get the original art in giveaways is you have to buy, you know, something. And if, if, if you if there's nothing you really like that's particularly for sale, then you can always buy uh, the signed print that's available in my whatnot store. But yeah, you know, you want, I like giving away stuff for free, uh, but I like, you know, to support the people that are supporting me by giving them a little extra something. If I can mark it one slash one? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh, if I can mark, oh, I see. I thought you said mark it. No. Yes, I can say first signed. There you go. First sign. Da -da -da -da. Oh, did they get the Whatnot exclusive cover as well? Wow. Um, one second. Let's get that for you. Some familiar faces. We've got Hal has joined. Hello, Mr. Hal Laren. There we go. I didn't think to write first sign. That's such a good idea. I'll do that from now on with stuff. Do I just put it back in there? Okay. Everyone go check out Blood Red Raven by Hal Laren. Great comic. Uh, I, I, if he'll let you know, I think he's starting a new Kickstarter soon for the next volume in it, which I think is volume zero, which is going to be sort of a semi homage to the GI Joe book back in the day. That was like a silent issue with snake eyes. Very cool concept because he's got a lot of espionage cyberpunk stuff going on. So I believe he's doing uh, a similar vibe to that. Oh, Jake, you're the man. Thank you so much. Yeah, stuff my wife should be doing. Wow. Oh, stuff you should be doing. I don't get paid for this. We split up. We we share our money. I don't want your art as a reward. I can see that all the time. <laughs> and you hate it. So I switched to a, a Unipin Fineliner to do the small details on his face for all you art fans out there. It's just easier to get the nice tight lines this way. Thank you so much. That's it, I didn't intend it to to be super Art Adams y. Um, but yeah, I've been looking at a lot of his work recently and it's I, I just like I come and go with it. It's crazy. I leave a I either look a bit too capullo or a bit too Adams. But you know what? I don't feel like the Capullo shows as much in my work as it used to. Mr. Echo said I should get paid to help you, even if it's with coffee. So that's true. Did you owe me a Starbucks trip? Oh, we'll go tomorrow. You want to go to Starbucks tomorrow? Yes. Hell yeah, let's do it. Thank you, Mr. Echo. <laughs> Joke's on you. It's a treat for me as well. <laughs> we rarely get out. Z10 said, you got a comic about zombies and one about monsters. Do you plan on one of superheroes at all? I don't really have anything to say in the superhero genre. Maybe one day. But no, I have nothing planned with superheroes. Um, 
superheroes are my day job, you know? I think I say enough in the books that I work on with that. But never exactly never say never. It would have to be something really unique though, because you know, you look at something like the boys, they're doing a great job at taking the superhero genre and doing something fun with it. And uh, there's plenty of other books like that. I mean, Invincible, my god, how the, the fact that Kirkman was able to create a whole universe of superhero stuff like outside of Marvel and DC, props to that guy. How about a superhero zombie? Well, funnily enough, you can read that. In, you, know, you know what? I already am doing a superhero story. If you read Dead Eye Dick, the backup story in Outbreaks, the story that I'm writing and drawing, this is a superhero story. It's kind of like, uh, it's going to be like a bit daredevil-y. It's not at that point yet, but it's a guy who is basically going to get superhero zombie powers eventually. So yeah, why didn't I even think about it? Of course, I'm already doing a zombie superhero story. Scott Harrison smiled. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, yes. Uh, so the inspiration for the character in the book is based off of uh, the villain from the Maltese Falcon, the film Noir. But the Kingpin himself, I believe, is based off of the same character. Reese said, what's our Starbucks order? What's my Starbucks order? Said, what's the Starbucks order that you go with yours? Okay, I get the same thing every time. I actually get two drinks because I'm a greedy guts. I get a, a cold brew, what is it called? Cold brew nitro or something like that? Yeah, nitro black cold brew. Nitro black cold brew. And these are small of each one. Nitro black, bleh, nitro black cold brew and a green tea lemonade. Oh, do I love the green tea lemonade. I'm a huge green tea fan, um, and I just love, you know, it's kind of like an Arnold Palmer, but instead of it just being regular iced tea, it's green tea, and I guzzle them up. When I go off to, into Dubai, they treat me so well out there, and they buy me one of those every single day, and I'm a happy, happy boy. My wife gets so jealous. No, I don't. Your order is so bitter. No, you're just jealous that I'm getting Starbucks every day. And you, love, and you like to get the chocolate cake and popcorn? Well, I've only had it once. No, you haven't. You've had it multiple, haven't you? No. Oh, okay. I like the ice white vodka with a pump of hazelnut. And it's boring. No, it's not. It tastes like a Kinder Bueno. Ugh. <laughs> I'm, a, I, I'm a bitter boy. I like bitter stuff. Yeah. I like spicy. <laughs> I like spicy stuff and I like bitter stuff. Yeah, then deliver the green tea any day. Hell yeah, that sounds great. When are we doing that? <laughs> Call me that nice and you want can you run the dead? Yeah. Yep. Now I know there's someone else in the chat that's interested in that card, so let the bidding begin. All right, I'm going to try and use uh, – there's going to be a lot of black in the background, so I'm going to try and use uh, a Copic brush for the blacks. See how it looks here. And if I don't like it, then I'll just stick to regular inks. And it's okay. It's just not pure black, though. It's got a – you can see that it's a little, little colored, so we'll see. All right, we are going to run this Daredevil drawing. This was done in 2020, probably during the pandemic as well. Oh, it is. So this is when I was, um, the pandemic hit and I went back to the drawing board. I said, you're going to sit down and you're going to learn to become a better comic book artist so you can start getting uh, jobs that you're more interested in. In fact, I'm actually going to do a little touch up right now. I just saw a little extra shadow I can add here. So you get some fresh art on here. Um, so yeah, I, I went back and I just, I, I got my anatomy books out and I just restudied everything. And yeah, Daredevil was one of those people that I, I looked at a lot because I wanted to, you know, he can be quite like a good anatomical tool. You're an anatomical tool. Okay. 
So let's run this. This is uh, 2020 drawing a Daredevil when I was really trying to get a lot better at art. So let's start it at, what did we start it at? Eight squids, and this will be signed live. It's the size of a trading card. And this is when I used to use Copic markers a lot, which I might try and get back into because it does look good. Oh man, the biddens are bidden. Oh, it's pandemonium! Cookie going once, going twice. Oh, you guys really like Dead huh? <laughs> Cookie, oops. Whoopsie. Congratulations, Cookie. My God, I didn't realize that Dead Devil was hot, such a hot commodity. You've just won yourself uh, a very special card. And, you know, I just did a little touch-up, so it's pretty fresh. This is for you. Let's get that signed up for you. I hope we didn't just completely wipe out your bank accounts there. There we go. Sign on the back right there. But it does still have my uh, other signature. I have two signatures. I've started to switch to using just my regular one. Because I saw Tom McFarlane say he used to get bummed when he would uh, get someone to sign his book and their signature didn't match the signature they always put on the cover. So I've gone back to using my regular signature. So there you go. Congratulations, Cookie. Whoopsie woo. Great job. Let's run a giveaway, shall we? And let's do one for... Um... Rushkin says bummed means something different in the UK, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's run a giveaway for people that have gotten stuff so far, shall we? Uh, let's do the Craven the Hunter, shall we? The Craven the Hunter to sketch cover, sketch card. All right. This drawing is of Craven the Hunter, and I drew it back. Oh, my God. I drew it back in 2015. This is before I broke into Marvel Comics, because I broke into Marvel Comics in 2016. So this is some old, old art. This is for people that have bought stuff already. So let's run that in the background. Okay, so how can Uh, you have to uh, have already bought something. Uh, we'll we'll keep this on the background and we'll run something just so people have a, you know, if they want a chance to win it. The Spider Man. Okay, we'll run that then. Cookie, I, I'm, I hate to say it, but I think your payment has failed. <laughs> so you weren't getting about that. So let's know what goes on there, and then if, if it doesn't work out, we'll run the Daredevil again. What is? Is it? See, that's not right. That's not the way it should. I don't know why Whatnot's doing that. I want to be able to reward everybody that's that's backed. That's annoying. Okay, so here is a Spider-Man from 2019. Uh, I was really playing with uh, the colors here. I really wanted to get that nice um purple that the symbiote spidey has you know what i'm saying like i love that like shade of purple and i did some stars and stuff so let's run this bad boy starting at what eight, eight squids you can rerun the daredevil oh i guess we gotta rerun the daredevil so just let everyone know that the Daredevil that was going before will be rerun. Reese is at the top. Is Reese going to win it? Hey, Reese, congratulations. You finally won some original art. Because I know he really wanted that spawn last time. You know, Reese, I'm going to add a few little new lines for you some some rendering going on there all the awesome new skills that i've learned 
the tons of art. I used to be so scared to do stuff like this. And now I'm very confident, which is great. So congratulations, Reese. There is your card. I will sign it on the back. I know you wanted that Daredevil, but you just got this, but you might break the bank tonight as well. There you go, bud. Thank you so much for everything. Um, yeah, you're the man. So I'm pretty sure we are going to run the Daredevil again. Is that right? And again, if you're just joining us, the sketch that I'm doing here is a Patreon giveaway. If you are a member of my Patreon at the highest tier, then you have already been entered into a chance to win this. If you'd like to win it, you can still join at that tier level. Cancel anytime. Doo -doo -doo. I've been obsessed with this band recently. Called, they're called the Fearless Flyers. I just think that their funk is so good. Do, do, do. The song has been living rent free in my head all week. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Uh, bop, bop, bop. That Frenchy snore, if I've ever heard it. Yep, that's a French bulldog snoring, all right. It's not my wife constantly farting. <laughs> All right, so he's pretty much mostly inked up. So now we got to tackle the background. Let's get the signature box done. And I've kind of just said to myself, why not just start doing like just completely stealing the Todd McFarlane scroll. Like, why not? No one else is doing it. Everyone does, like, you know, some people that do scrolls, they do, like, their little version where it's, like, tattered and ripped and stuff. That's cool and all, but there's something so nice about just this scroll. I don't think he owns it. I'm going to claim it, too. Oh, we're selecting a winner for the... Uh, we are. Oh, Mr. Echoes. Mr. Echoes, congratulations. This is going to be a part of your order. It's already signed on the back. That's for you. I'm free. Should we rerun the Daredevil? Yeah, let's rerun that Daredevil then. So this is a, another chance for the people that wanted to get the Daredevil. If you see me putting these little X's everywhere, that is an old thing that people did in the comic industry that people still do today to let the Inca know, fill this area with black. All right, folks. Born again, am I right? We're born again here. Let's run the Daredevil once more. It sold before for 61, so let's see what we can do. Again, this was my testing out my new anatomy skills during the pandemic. Ready to launch it? It's on now. And this has a few little touches by myself on it. In fact, I can add some more touches. There we go. 18. That ain't no 61. So this is a 2020 sketch of Daredevil. Signature on the back. Jeff Rob 13, congratulations. Wow. From 61 to 20. What a bargain. Congratulations, ma'am. Oh, no. Jeff's payment. Oh, no. No, we're good. 
Congratulations, Jeff. You're the winner. Cookie, honestly, mate, don't worry at all. It's fine. I'm, I, it's absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. These things happen. I'm not here to freaking just take people's money. I'm here to have a good time. What series is the character Snake from? Metal Gear Solid. Yes, it did. Thank you. Yep, your payment went through, so thank you very much. All right, what's next then? Rush Ken said, what comic series past or present would be a dream job for you? Comic series past or present, that would be a dream job for me. Um, I would really love a chance to do a cover for The Walking Dead Deluxe. Um, I would love to have a run on Deadpool. Uh, the and I, you know, the top for me would probably be having a run on the Amazing Spider Man. I think that would be really great, and just feeling like I truly reached the top of the industry. But the thing I'm focused most on right now is creator own. This is why I'm the most happy, and I feel like it's getting the best out of my work. Doing creator owned. Cookie says, if I wanted permission, can I message you on Instagram? Of course you can. Message on Instagram or email. You can email me at robsonrequest at gmail.com or message, on any or message on any social media and we can sort out a commission for you. That's at Robson Inc. That's at Robson Inc. Robson Inc. That is me. All right, let's get to these zombies, shall we? So they're in the background. They're going to be pretty much all in shade. Except for their teeth and their eyes, because I just like the way that looks. And speaking of zombies, how about we run Outbreaks Cover A of Issue 2? The premiere cover with the amazing Alex Cormack work on it. And the first one that will ever be sold and whatnot. Ready to do it? Start at five squids. And this will be signed live. Starting now. Would you have liked to have had an issue on? The X Files alongside Charlie Adlard. Do you know what? Yeah, Charlie Adlard's work is amazing on that. I've never seen the X Files. I've seen one episode of it back in the day, um, and I liked the episode I saw. I remember it was like a, a person on a bus, and you could see their reflection, uh, and the reflection was like an alien or something like that. But as a big horror fan, I do need to check out the X Files. I'm, I've been on a huge kick recently with tales from the crypt so that's that's where i'm at right now comic art 1991 congratulations this one's for you buddy thank you so much for your support let's get it signed up for you and that went for nine quid that's a bargain that is a bargain because i sell now i sell these for 10 pounds uh only because you see down here, it's actually four ninety nine. It's just because the ten pound covers shipping when it's on Kickstarter. But I'd like to retail them at four ninety nine. So, congratulations, Comic Art nineteen eighty one. This bad boy is for you. All signed up. Do 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 do. This is free, uh, Fearless Flies again. Great band. Now look at the chompers on this guy. Maybe he had some dentures or something. So this one I wanted to actually show some of the shadow creeping back in. And I think I'm gonna go over with a white line as well to really oomph some of this stuff.
how about we run in the background a giveaway of a whatnot trading card so folks can have something to win for free. It's got loads of turkey teeth. <laughs> yep. Z teeth. Uh, Mr. Eggers, what company do you ship through for UK students every or roll out? I'm pretty sure what not um, automatically do it with every. Yeah, it's we, not out of our control. We prefer to ship with Royal Mail, but I think they also do it. You might have an option to change it um, on your end, but we unfortunately don't have an option to change it. That's that. right. Yeah, last time we sent, we accidentally paid for all of the postage for all, the whole WhatNot stream. Uh, and then we realized that WhatNot had already paid for all of it. So we we double paid for postage last time. Because we were supposed to, we tried, we wanted to send it raw mail. Yeah, same. Um, what would you like to run as a uh, One of the training cards. Got these little flies in the background up here. Always love a little fly flying about. Okay. And that's for the Royal Mail Trading Card Giveaway. Yep, for followers. All right, guys. So all you got to do is you got to follow me when you head into Texas. Hey, hey, hey bud, how's it going? When are you going to get your podcast back, man? I missed that podcast. Uh, I'll go to Texas when they invite me to Texas, man. Uh, nice to hear from you, though. Let's see here. Uh, this is for anybody. If you follow me on whatnot, you're automatically entered into a chance to win that trading card. Oops, just bid. I want to go to Texas as well. Sounds great. I want to go to Tennessee. I want to go to wherever that place where Fiona is. Uh, the hippo. Oh. Who's Fiona? I thought you meant some lady called Fiona in Texas. No, not that <laughs> random lady in Fiona called Texas. Uh, she's in Connecticut, I think. Oh, the, I thought she was south. I guess I was wrong. Yeah, we want to do a whole U.S. trip. I really want to go to the south. Yeah. You should come to the Atlantic next year. I would love to. The only thing is I just I just don't have the time or financial resources to get me to these conventions. One day I will. It's a long flight. It's a very long flight. So right now I only do conventions that I'm actually invited to because when you're invited, you know, they fly you out and they put you up. It it makes life a lot easier. Rogues comics says, are you doing any UK cons? Um, I, I'm debating doing Thought Bubble. Um, I'll see as it gets closer to the time because sometimes slots open back up. But no, I, I used to do all the MFCC and no, London. MCM. MCM, that's it. Uh, and London Super Comic Con. I used to do all that stuff, but uh, I just, I don't know, I'm just too busy. These are some real Capullo teeth right here. You know, some straight up spawn grit in his teeth. Uh, okay. uh, let, we can run a Carnage Reigns. Oh, do I have any work with Marvel coming? Uh, if you're asking me about on the stream to sell, I've got Carnage Reigns, which we can run soon. Um, or if you ask me about work, I drew at the end of last year a whole Doctor Doom comic. And it hasn't been released yet. Um, I don't know what's going on there. I know there's been some delays due to a release of another Doctor Doom book. So we're kind of just waiting to see what happens there. But yeah, I drew a Rocket Raccoon Doctor Doom team-up book, and it's awesome. And it's written by uh, JMS as well. So it's it's probably one of the best books I've ever worked on. So I'm just hoping that will come out soon. This is what we're running? All right. We've got cover G, and this is the noir version of my Tom McFarlane homage cover. So you can see this is the inks and then 
and that's what the colors came out to be. This is an homage to the classic issue of the Hulk where he, he Wolverine is holding up the claws and in the reflection you can see the Hulk. Instead, I have Coach Matthews shouting angrily as he's roping in some zombies, which you can see in the reflection. Again, limited to only 50 ever printed. These will never, ever be reprinted. So they're, they're just, you know, 50 or 50, and I own like five of them. So really there's only like 45 of them. So yeah, this retails at $24.99. As it is an exclusive thing, and it will come signed by me. Let's run that product. Can't wait to see that Doom booth. Thank you. Yeah, I, I can't wait for people to see that book as well. I think they'll really like it. So again, only 50 of these ever made, uh, and we sold a bunch on the Kickstarter, so not many left. And I will sign it, obviously. We got Jeff Rob 13 winning it currently at 20. Three, two, one. Congratulations, Jeff Rob. Got yourself a bargain with the signed. Many, many congratulations. Let's sign it right here. Boom. Oh, Jeff Rob, that's for you. Oh, who's that? Who won that? Rinse. Congratulations on this, Jeff. Uh, rinse, rinse, Reese, rinse. You won yourself a shiny Major Z, second one ever signed. Only a hundred of these ever printed. When they run out, there'll be something else with a different thing. Congratulations. Well, let me just take a sip of water there. Let me just take a sip of water. If you guys uh, want me to run something specific, all you have to do is look in what we're se uh, selling or uh, auctioning, and you can see a list of a bunch of books. I've got The Flash. I've got more Joker books. I've got uh, a Carnage book. I've got some uh, Arrow universe type stuff, which was... Um, uh, the first DC book I ever worked on. So that's my first appearance of DC Comics is the Arrowverse stuff. Um, along with uh, Harley Quinn we got, which I haven't sold on here yet. I drew a story in Harley Quinn where I actually uh, co-created a new Batman villain in that book as well, the Red Bomber. Um, and I also have the Kevin Smith uh, graphic novel uh, that I got hired to do the cover for, which is, I always forget that, like, what a cool thing that was uh, that I got hired to do work with Kevin Smith, who's a, who's an idol of mine. Uh, Joker Teeth, is that what people want? All right, we got Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing, number seven. Great cover. Really, really cool cover. You see Joker in the midst there. Um, and again, I drew the backup for this. Had a lot of fun. It was Joker Run for President. Had a ball doing this. I wish I could keep working on Joker books because I love the character. So let's run that auction. What's the Arrowverse book? I believe, uh, what was the name of it? Uh, it's the CW thing. It has the people like running around on the cover and they're, they're, they're bright. Yeah, that's it. Earth. Earth Prime is the book. Scotty Holly is winning this currently at 13 squid sign. Woo, there you go, Scotty. That's a great deal. We do have one more of those available if anyone missed it. We do. Mm -hmm. There's one more available of these. So if you want to get it, then we will run it. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go, Scotty. <sighs> Signed just for you, pal. Appreciate you. Uh, I have no spider ham on me. I know I've got a box somewhere in the garage. I think they want you to work on spider ham. Oh, they want me to work on spider ham. Yeah, ma'am. I did that with Zeb Wells, who's gone on to now be the main writer of The Amazing Spider-Man. So he left me in the dirt, didn't he? Well deserved. He's an amazing writer. Working with John Romita Jr. as well. Very cool. 
You can follow me on my socials at Robson Inc. And that's Robson Inc. I N K R O B S O N I N K. Um, and I'm on all social media. And you can follow me on my Patreon, where you can enter in a chance to win this. All you have to do is sign up for the highest tier, and you will get a free signed training card by me, every, sent to you every month, plus every single month, into the chance to win the sketch. What is the what, what is this book? This is Outbreaks, which is my comic book. And it's launching the third issue, which is going to be part... See how this is part two of three? Part three of three is coming out April 15th on Kickstarter with cover by freaking the Walking Dead co-creator himself, Mr. Tony Moore. And that's his awesome cover. And if you guys want me to run anything, you just let me know. We got trading cards. We got original art to run as well. Loads of different stuff. <sighs> Sign comics from my career at Marvel and DC or more outbreaks. It's intense. I literally have it written down in my calendar. April 15th, but I don't miss it. Actually, oh, awesome. Early, early bird, uh, yes, I do. So if people are doing an early bird special, um, and if you back on day one, then you get a free uh, noir Tony Moore Noir trading card, which is only going to be available uh, via that way uh, and as an add-on as well. Uh, you also get a free uh, bookmark and a free... What's the other thing? Trading card bookmark, and there's another item. No, I don't think it's a sticker. I can't remember. I'm flustered. Uh, but there's that, and I think there's also some early bird... Char oh, yeah. If you, you can get the collector's bundle, I believe, for cheaper as well. So you get like the deluxe version um, on day one for cheaper. Signed. So yeah, perks for coming out day one. Thank you so much. We are. We were a bit. We weren't supposed to be shipping this week, and we were supposed to be shipping all last week, but there was delays to the shipping because of Easter's, um, and it means that we've been doing fulfillment whilst also pre preparing for this. Because to prepare for whatnot, you've got to list all the items and do loads of stuff, and I, had to, you know, I had to pre pencil this and stuff. So I have been working around the clock. My back is killing me. I'm very tired. And I'm I'm very upset. <laughs> no, I'll be I'll be giving it away at the end. Remember the uh, the wheel? Yep. Yep. It's on my iPad, which is downstairs. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Good evening, Will. Awesome, thank you so much. I have yet to play Spider Man 2. I played it and I beat all of Spider Man 1. I enjoyed it. I tried to play the Miles game over the Christmas break as it is Christmassy, but I just couldn't get into it. But I would like to uh, play Spider Man 2. I'm just waiting for it to get cheap and then I'll, then I'll jump in. Yes, my wife has been playing Lego City Undercover, and she's like <laughs> going to try 100% the whole game. And I don't have time for such things as hobbies like playing video games. My hobby is Outbreaks. Yeah, anything that you guys want me to run, otherwise I'll just start running random stuff. This is just a normal Sharpie. I've got a lot of black to fill, so I figured I'd use a Sharpie for it. Why Sharpie? Um, I tried to use the Copic, but it, it leaves like a... Well, I guess they both leave the same look. Right, I'll switch to Copic. No, no. No. 
That's another game I'm waiting to go on sale so I can play it. I don't have time to play any of these games anyway. Who am I kidding? If I I do play games though every single day because I do like to game, but what I play is Hearthstone, and I play that on my iPad, and I kick butt on it every day. Yes, we need to we need to auction yeah. things. Well, I got some comics next to me, so I might as well just grab one and auction it. Any minute now. All right. What do we got here? Ooh. We got a PlayStation 1 homage cover. So this is the regular region one. This is the homage to basically what you would get in North America. Uh, and yeah, let's run it. You get this sign. This is Outbreaks Issue 2. Cover D, Outbreaks Issue 2, meant to look like the cover of Resident Evil 2. Okay, start, now. start now. The Marvel Snap on the phone, you got any art? No, I, I have not been offered any art uh, for the Marvel Snap game, sadly. Currently at £7. This is going to be signed, remember, folks. Felipe Cortez, congratulations, bud. You got yourself an absolute bargain. This retails at, hey, look, $7.99. So you paid one quid less to get it signed. Congratulations. And these are fresh off the printer. These were printed, what, yesterday? Yes. These are as fresh as a book can get. Signed for you, Felipe. Thank you for your continued support. Your inner Matt Berry came up there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now we're going to go straight into another one. Boom. What's that? It looks just like the other cover. Nope. This is the homage to Greatest Hits, which I loved as a kid. I had lots of the Greatest Hits uh, because they were cheaper. Um, and I just, this green is so nostalgic for me. So this is cover E, also $7.99 retail value. Going to be signing it. So let's run it. You haven't been on the Discord? Felipe, don't worry about it. It's always there when you need it. Always there when you need it. it I feel like Cormac's is secretly Alex Cormac, and he's just trying to <laughs> get everything. Cormac, congratulations. This one is yours. There we go. All signed up for you, Cormac. Thank you so much. For your support gonna keep the lights on here we're actually uh we're having major plumbing issues so we're probably going to use the money for that well we haven't been able to use any of our downstairs water for months so i call that pretty major <laughs> jeff, has jeff powers mm -hmm. hey buddy how's it going hope you're well hi cutie pie love you so much hope you're well and hopefully i can come see you soon when i can finally freaking afford to, to travel. Anyway, we're going to do another cover here. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Joked on myself. Oh, my God. We have got the homage cover to Tom McFarlane's uh, infamous Hulk cover. And this is a retail value starting at six ninety nine. dollars um, This is going to be signed by me. And we're going to run it. Did I sell you on it? You've been blocking the toilet again. <laughs> what are you talking about? What do I share? On, I look. You I don't overshare on that podcast so much. I don't listen to Batman the Animated Series podcast. I just don't listen to it, so I don't remember what I say in it. Some people say stuff to me where I'm like, "I talked about that in public." Jeez, the cheese. <laughs> going once, going twice, and call Max again. Thank you so much. So to the Maxter. There you go. Thank you so much, Cormax. That one's for you, pal. And I, I, didn't this come out nice? Like, I think that the print looks really awesome of this. Like, it really feels like that vintage comic. 
just the only one so have you ever drawn a joker training card i feel i need this to go to my bay now i have drawn a joker training card before but it has sold i can't remember when but i drew one of my favorite forms of the joker when he is in the hawaiian shirt and the hat from killing joke sure it could be something that could be commissioned Wanted. Yeah, if you ever want me to commission me to, to draw Joker on a trading card, I'm very happy to do that. More than happy to do that. Should we run a giveaway? Let's run a giveaway. What would you like to run? Uh, should we do some... What do we got? We've got a Black Cat sketch card, a Black Widow sketch card... Uh, another whatnot exclusive trading card or a big trouble of China. Let's run uh, the Black Cat trading card. And that's for buyers. And that's for people that have, have bought stuff, yep. Yeah? And then we'll also run uh, something else that people can buy so they can be entered into their chance to win. What would you like to run? Uh, what have we not run yet? Oh, let's do... um. Uh, the my first time ever working for DC, the CW stuff. Okay, guys, we're going to be running. This is the giveaway. This is a black cat drawing I drew. Two thousand and fifteen. That's when I was living uh, on a hundred acre farm. It's a long story. I was. I was. There, overlook the property, and it was the beginning of me and my wife's lovely relationship as well. Um, this is a black cat drawing, uh, old school. So that is going to be a giveaway for for people that have backed, uh, well, not backed, people that have. What have they done? People that have purchased. bought, purchased. My God, my brain's ending. Okay, starting the giveaway. That going on for five minutes. That going on for five minutes. But we are going to run my first ever time working for DC Comics. This was for Earth Prime, uh, limited six of six uh, series. I had a great time on this book, uh, and I really put my all into it because I wanted to show DC that I, I could work well. Um, and this is definitely more of my Art Adams look, I would say. And I had a lot of fun, and I put a stupid amount of detail into this book. You see all this running here. Really cool stuff. I drew a lot of... Characters, if you're a fan of the CW universe, then my art is full of CW stuff. I got to draw uh, Batwoman in a Batman Beyond costume, which I think has never been seen before. So I, I pretty much just designed that on the fly. Uh, I know Clayface is in here. Supergirl is in here. So many characters. Look at that. That's fun. Man. This is a great looking book. I haven't looked at this in a long time. Oh, spoiler at the end there. Let's run it. Okay, start the auction. Just so you want to say that will be Ace of Jack Nicholson's. That will be right on my street, but the Joker. Oh, that sounds great. Jack Nicholson is my favorite Joker. Yeah, just message if you want me to do that. We'll definitely do that. Z10, Z10 congratulations. Excuse me, am I, I'm getting a little parched. Let's get that signed up for you. For the Z Tenster. I hardly know that. What, signed comics and stuff like that? Uh, you can't, really. Uh, you catch me at a convention or just here. That's why I'm trying to make. The whatnot special. I want to make it so that you know you come here, you can get signed stuff. But if they want outbreaks? Oh, if you want outbreaks though, uh, then you got to head to Kickstarter. April fifteenth, I launch the next campaign. Or you come back every single month to whatnot, and I'll always be flipping outbreaks. Or if they just want a, a trading card every month or potential commission. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you want a potential commission, you can contact me at Robson Request. Uh, at gmail.com, or if you want a, a free trading card every month, you can sign up to the top tier of my Patreon and also be entered in a chance to win a free sketch every single month. All right, we're going to run another cover for Earth Prime, Heroes Twilight number six. I think this is, which cover is this? 
cover B, I think. It's the same book, different cover. Let's run it. Is the card signed? Yep, the card comes signed. Josie said, never change. You and your brother are hilarious. Listen every morning on my drive to work. Thank you so much. Yeah, my brother, he's he just got a job, so our scheduling is been a bit different so we're trying we're still i think we still have a weekly release it's just a bit tougher for us to record now johnny 606 johnny 606 congratulations this one's for you My f said, are there any easter eggs to look out for in outbreaks easter eggs to look out for in outbreaks um yes there's tons of easter eggs <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look here. Have you put Luna in it? Luna's not in it. I don't want to draw my dog as a zombie. What? Um, I'm trying to remember where the Easter eggs are. I don't think there's much in Monica's work because she had full reigns of the art. Um, did I dick? Do I put any Easter eggs? I know in the first issue, like I have a character called Barbara, and the classic line from Night, uh, Night of the Living Dead is, they're coming to get you, Barbara. And I have her kicking down the door saying, Barbara's coming to get you. Um, let's see here. Mm, I think that there's a lot. No, so in issue three, there's going to be tons of Easter eggs. Names of streets are going to be called like Romero Road and all that type of stuff. So there's stuff to look out for. You've been listening since the beginning? Wow. I think we did our first ever podcast in 2018. Oh, the uh, giveaway is about to end. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got 30 entries. Good luck. Drawing now. And this is for the black cat, right? Yeah. Good luck, everybody. Scott Holly. Scotty Holly, this one's for you, pal. Oh, yeah. And it's, got, it's already signed. Congrats, Scotty. Cover J outbreaks being run soon. We can run, we can run that right now. I must ever said spoilers. I'm clicking through. <laughs> oh, sorry. Dean's comment says, What's your favorite comic you've drawn? My favorite comic I've drawn for. Hmm. It's a tough question. I mean, I was really jazzed when I got to draw uh, Batman Urban Legends because I finally got to draw Batman, my favorite superhero universe. So I would probably say that one. Uh, but I was really jazzed the first time I got to draw Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Deadpool as well. And also... Working on Spawn Kills Everyone with Tom McFarlane, like that was huge. That whole year working with Tom was like so amazingly creatively satisfying. So I'm probably going to say Spawn then. All right. This is the awesome cover J. Rotten Luck to Resident Evil homage cover, PAL regions. Anybody from Europe, this is going to be the vibe that you're getting. This was only available as an add on in the last campaign. And I think I only printed. 30 ish of them, maybe 50. I can't remember. Not many were printed. Don't quote me on that. Okay, starting, starting now. now. <laughs> this is <Jason> a quoted. <laughs> quoted. <laughs> I'm getting quite parched. My boys are going. I'm starting to sound like Steve O. Great, I think. Going once, going twice. Gummit. Sorry, gun metal. Oh, gun metal Dumbo. My brain was going gummit. Game, game word. Congratulations, gun metal Dumbo. This one is for you. Signed live by me, so you know it's legit. No fake signatures here. All me, baby. 
Thank you so much for your support. Dean's comment says, what would it cost to do a quick spawn or spidey sketch on comments? You, what, like a remark? I think for the full list or like to give more details about if you want anything, just drop us a message, right? Yeah. We'll yeah, if you email me, I can give you all of my um, commission yeah, prices. Yes. This is like, what you see here is like a 200 quid value. A remark, it depends on the detail. Uh, I haven't really priced it out yet. So it depends on the detail. If it's a quick little thing, then I'd probably only charge like 20 quid. Uh, if it was something a bit more in depth, I'd probably charge up to 50. Yeah, if we want that, then uh, feel free to message on social. That's right. If anybody wants any remarks from me for outbreaks or anything like that, or even Marvel DC stuff, you can email me at robsonrequests at gmail.com or you can just message me on any social media and I will happily do that for you. All right, up next is a big old comic book. I believe they're called Graphic Novels. Wow. This is a hardcover edition of Kevin Smith's The Famous Filmmaker, Masquerade, his Dark Horse creator owned book. I did a cover for this. I, I assume there's a cover gallery in the back here. Cover gallery. Let's find my work. And there it is. So I thought it was a fun idea to have, since the character wears a bunch of different people's faces. And I know that Kevin Smith is a fan of uh, poker and all that type of stuff. I thought it'd be fun to have the character on a roulette wheel uh, with all of the weapons pointing at all the different faces uh, as targets that she would kill and wear their face. So that was, that was my idea. I got this job because actually a fan, you can see my name down there, Will Robson, Andrew Dalhouse. Dalhouse is a colorist I love working with. Um, I got this job because a fan on Facebook, oh no, on Twitter, said, hey, Kevin Smith is looking for like New Jersey, people that have an association with New Jersey and a comic book artist. So I was like, hey, I, I grew up in New Jersey. Um, and then I got this gig to do the covers. How cool is that? So yes, it is a whole graphic novel with only one piece of art drawn by me, but it's pretty damn cool. So we're going to start this at 10 squids and I will sign it on the inside so that the signature does not get rubbed off. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is it only Marvel you draw? Nope. I'm currently working for DC right now. I've worked for Image, IDW, Boom, Dark Horse, uh, Dynamite, loads of different companies. Z10, congratulations. This one's yours. All of the big names, that's right. Let's get this signed up for you. There you go. And look, there's tons of space here. So get all the other cover artists and Kevin Smith himself to sign there. This is the only one I've ever signed, so that's for you, pal. Masquerade. Nice, br nice print. I don't know if I have any Spidey comics besides this Carnage Reigns is the only one that I have which we can put up for auction now yeah we we could always hunt eBay and find one of the spider-man comics that I've worked on and have me do a remark on it or if you're willing to to try and win the Carnage Reigns cover on here, we can put that up for auction and see if we can do it on there. Jeff says, I have some vintage Will Robson artwork I found recently. That's right. Can I hold that for ransom in exchange for some sweet merch? I'm talking dinos on these. Hell yeah. So a buddy of mine, a good old friend of mine, is in the chat when I was growing up in America. Uh, I lived with him. He let me live on his sofa 
I had a little bedroom, which was just the, the, the closet. When you moved the coats out of the way, there was a TV set up with a PlayStation 3, and I was addicted to Red Dead Redemption as it just come out, the first one. And uh, yeah, love you to death, Jeff. And I remember when I moved back to England, he was the last house I was living in in America, and I left my Dino Zombies sketch book there. Because at the time I was releasing a uh, my first comic, Dino Zombies, online, and uh, yeah, he he still owns it to this day. And I remember him saying, even at the time, like, "No, nah, I'm going to hold on to this until you're actually a famous comic book artist." So funny how that works out. Well, I'm not famous, but I think the noise of the pen is killing people. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Jeff said, "I'm keeping it safe for you, bud." Uh, you, at this point, you can have it. I would like to bring Dino Zombies back into Outbreaks, but um, maybe as a backup story, because it is a fun story about zombie dinosaurs, which I always thought was a really cool concept. Comic said, put, we can put Carnage up for auction with a Sig remark. I guess we could... The starting price up slightly higher to cover just a two minute remark. A two minute remark? Um, and what, and do it on here? It's up to you if you'd like to do it on here or you can do it separately. Whatever you ask for. Yeah, whatever you want. Um, uh, I'm nearly wrapped for this, so yeah, I could do it on here. But you'll have competition from other people watching. <laughs> If I'm doing a live drawing, um, then we'll do the starting price of 20. Jake said, two minute remark. Do you, you want to tell people what that is? Uh, it's when you draw on a, a comic book cover itself, you have to use um, paint markers, which I do have. But I haven't done many of them, so we'll see how it turns out. How about this? How about I do it first, right? I'll do the drawing first, and then we'll run it. Because sure. I don't like the pressure of someone like paying for it, and then I'll... And then doing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, shall we run something in the meantime? Yeah, this so, is done, by the way. Looks great. Well, thank you. <laughs> that looks awful. So uh, you see this marker I'm using right now? This is a paint marker. That's why you can get the white showing over it. Would like the green goblet. Should we run that? Yes. We shall, we shall. Zoops Adam says it looks awesome. Thank it you, buddy. Gorgeous. So good. Thank you, thank you. I'm very talented and pretty. <laughs> don't, don't do that too much. Your ego might get too big. My ego is the size of my big fat belly. Uh, if you want to win this, if you want to win my sketch, you got to be on Patreon. This is going to be given away to members of my Patreon at the highest tier. You got to be a member. So head on over to Patreon. Sign up to the highest tier where you get a free trading card every month, and you yourself might win this. Now, if you look here, I did, for any art people out there, I purposely did less shading all over him. Like, I kept him pretty clear, because I knew the whole background would be black, so 
it makes him pop more, right? If I did all the extra shading all on him and his jacket and stuff, it would all disappear. So by not doing that, it makes him really pop. So that's a little little hot art tip for you, for your artists out there. Should we run the green goblin? Let's do it. Let me give it to you. All right. What we have here is a green goblin, which I drew after Spider-Man the Animated Series style. And it's from 2020. This is, again, when I was trying to get much better at art. So, Lily, you're going to start the running for this for... Starting at only eight pounds for original art. This was hand inked by me and hand colored with Copic markers. You think Boss Biggest is Kingpin in a parallel universe? Very possible, yes. Oh, Reese. Are you going to get a Reese? Reese one? Hey, congratulations, Reese. Dude, thank you so much for your support. You're amazing. Me and Reese, we said that when we when we see each other at a convention, mm -hmm. he's going to do me a commission. I'm going to do him a commission. Fun. Thank you so much, Reese, and all your support. You are amazing. Everyone, please go check out Reese Hannigan's work. Reese, feel free to put your social media plug in the chat. He's an amazing up and coming artist. He's going to be huge one day. So go and check him out. Reese, this is for you, buddy. And oh, it does not have my signature on the back. There you go, pal. Yes, we can. I'm just getting the remark stuff. I'm going to Reese try. Said, at Reese Hannigan Art on Instagram. At Reese Hannigan Art on Instagram. Be there, I'll be instantly squared. All right, I'm not. I'm not very practiced in remarks, but I'm gonna give it a go because I know you gotta wait for a lot of stuff to dry as well. Let's run the Green Lantern now. This is a Green Lantern sketch from 2015, before I broke into Marvel Comics, when I was in the indie scene. I remember this, I experimented with brushes for the first time. As you can see, the brush strokes in his hair. So this was my brush uh, tryout, essentially. My first time ever drawing Green Lantern. So let's run it. And I'm going to get the colors ready. This will be signed, obviously, if it's not already. No, it is signed already. So this is apparently card number 10. I remember I was like numbering them at the time. So a sketch I drew nine years ago. Original art drawn by me. My first time experimenting with brushes. Mr. Echoes, congratulations. Another proud winner for Mr. Echoes. That one's for you, pal. All right, let's let's see what I can do here, shall I? Let's there's an empty space down here. Oh, this this is not even primed. I haven't even used this color yet. Oh man, these pet these pens. So what you gotta do with these these paint pens is you gotta wait ages until oh I think we got some red running now. Yeah. So these are actually paint, which is crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw in Spider-Man's head.
And this is all scary stuff because you got to get it perfect the first time around. If it's not perfect, that's what makes it special. Yeah. As a comic book artist, screw that nonsense. <laughs> it has to be perfect. So I'm just getting the pen flowing with the paint. You gotta be careful with this stuff because it can make an absolute mess. I think I've seen Todd Knock do a bunch of these recently. I haven't studied up on what people are doing with it yet, like little tricks they're doing to make things pop a bit more. This is like, I don't know who invented the remark, but this is such like a new step for comic book artists to do. But I know it, it instantly adds value, obviously, because you're, you're doing a little drawing over the main cover, which is a very cool thing to do. So we're filling in space we made with the red. You can probably barely see it as well. Oh, man, I'm getting a hand cramp. I'm cramping up. And I think what we're going to do to make this more fun is we're going to add a bit of Spidey Sense. And I like to use blue for Spidey Sense. Again, super fresh markers coming here. And once I, once I do the base layer down, we'll let it dry and we'll run some more stuff. All right, that blue's already working, so let's get some... Spidey sense going. And then once it's all dry, that's when you go over it with the black inks. And that's when it really starts to pop. And if you don't win this, uh, who is interested in this? If you don't win this one, just contact me and we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do a private commission. There we go, spidey sense is tingling. Let's get some more red. Do I want to add his neck? I don't know if I want to add his neck. Nah. All right, well, now we got to leave that to dry. And it takes a little while to dry because then we're going to add the white to his eyes. We're going to let that dry, and then we're going to add the black inks, and that's when you'll start to see it really pop. It's not the best body sense I've drawn, but what can you do? Let's run something while this is going on. Oh, how about a whatnot exclusive cover of Outbreaks Issue 1? So whilst this is drying, uh, we're going to run this. As you can see, this is the whatnot exclusive version of Outbreaks Issue 1. Uh, it's got a shiny cover on it. Uh, only so many ever printed. I will be printing these probably again, but I'll be doing different covers for them and different shinies. So this is the first edition of it. And this will obviously be signed. So let the bidding begin. I won't be selling these on Kickstarter. I won't be selling these when I go to conventions. This is only a cover you can get right here on Whatnot. And I will sign, obviously. Just letting that, I want to hit, let that heat, let it dry. See the shininess? Whoa. Whoa. And 
I think the shiny's on the back as well. So the mobster mash, that's the extra bonus. You get to see mobster mash with the shiny as well. Scotty Holly's one. Oh man, Scott, you're the man. Who are you? I look just like Scotty Holly. Congrats, pal. That one is for you. Congratulations, Scotty Holly. Ah, my brother's here. If you're a fan of the podcast, Alex is in the building. He just came back from a long day from his new job. Where he's selling tricks on the local corner. Scott Holly likes you both singing his name. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd be it'd be tough at this point because I like singing his name. It's why I you know I get danger, Will Robson and all that stuff. No, I get Mrs. Robinson. Yeah, you do get Mrs. Robinson, yeah. Hey buddy, you make money now. Why don't you buy something? So that me and the missus can go for a Starbucks tomorrow. Can you run Urban Legends? Can you run Urban Legends? Yeah, let's run it. I'm just going to finish these, the whites of Spidey's eyes first. Oh, without like the um, the webbing on it and just the white of his eyes, it's looking pretty, um, what's it called? It's Ben Riley Spidey right now. So yeah, this is all like new territory for comic book artists is all this paint brushing and stuff. I the first time I did th did this was at a convention in Dubai uh, two years ago and people were going crazy for it. I was doing it like on Funko Pop uh, packages and it was, I, I think I did like 60 or something of them. It was insane. And I didn't even have the brushes. Like someone, like one of the fans just like, Gave me like a whole pack of them. All right, we got Spidey's eyes in there now. So we're going to let that dry. And we are going to run Batman Urban Legends. So this is the book I said before that uh, I was super proud to be on. This is my first time ever drawing Batman. Um, let me wait until, there we go. Here's my story. So you can see it starts here. And I kind of was drawing Batman more in like a Jim Lee style um, because I just wanted to impress DC and drew the Batman that everyone knows and loves. Um, and I put my heart and soul into this book. Even looking at it now, it's crazy to see that I actually drew this. Like I, I was working so hard doing it. Like, look at that. Like I, I, I don't even know how I drew that. It's crazy. And I went full on Capullo with a couple of faces and yeah. And I drew like my own version of the Batmobile. And you know, if you're a fan of Batman the Animated Series, this is the book to get. So Batman Urban Legends, my first time ever drawing Batman, my favorite comic book universe. And I will be signing it here on Whatnot. It's done now. I think my brother should bid for this one because I don't think he has a copy. He said he hasn't been paid yet. Well. And again, this this comes like it's almost like a mini trade paperback. You see how it has like the it says Batman Urban Legends on the side. So it'll look nice on the old shelf. Jossie99 is the winner for 20 squids. Thank you, Jossie99, so much for your support. Let's get that signed for you right now. Bada bing, bada boom. Signed live on the show. So you know it's legit. Too legit to quit. There you go. Thank you so much for your support, and I really hope that you enjoy this. Again, I'm very proud of this work, and it's kind of a cool story as well. So, yeah, check it out. I wish I could buy more of those because I feel like they would be a, a really good um, product to offer people. Now, I'm still not convinced that this this fully dry... <laughs> 
I'll give him more time. I don't want to mess it up. Night eyes on you. I say that, say that, say that to you. And I like it. And I want it. Yes, I do. This is everyone's song right now. I do, yes, I do, yes, I do. Yes. Little baby crying has been snoring this whole time. Can I run the Mary Jane sketch card? You bet your behind I can. I don't know if you can swear on what or not. Being very PC. This was drawn in 2015. With living at the farm. Mary what Jane. Me, well, I don't know what I've talked about on the podcast. This is Mary Jane. This was a fun one. I thought it was a really cool pose. Uh, I think I was inspired by something Todd Nock did to do this. I was trying out adding more oranges and yellow in the hair. So let's run this Mary Jane from 2015 sketch card. Yes, we were very much skinnier back then. That's when the weight gain started. <laughs> All those scotches. Mary Jane. Oh my God, 1981, Felipe's winning at 16 squids, going once. Whoop, oh my God, coming in with the bid. Felipe fighting back. We got a boxing match. We'll run a giveaway after this as well. Felipe, congratulations. Thank you again for your support on the stream. You are amazing. And that signed already. Congratulations. Let's run a giveaway for everybody. Let's give away a Matra Z whatnot exclusive trading card. We're going to run this giveaway on the background. All you have to do is follow. Mates rates for me. Well, you got, you got to... You got to fight against everyone else. You know what I have, actually? You know what I found, buddy? You're going to laugh at this. Where is it? I found an old thing that I was drawing for you. When you wanted me to do a Dark Knight Returns drawing for you, and I was laying it out in different ways. Do you remember this? like a big circle and I was going to do a bunch of little scenes from the book. You see I've got like Joker there with the thing in his face, Superman getting punched, um, uh, Carrie Kelly, that's her name, right? Um, and then I was going to draw the big like fist Batman in the background. Never finished it, never will. Go fuck yourself, buddy. You know what? I'm going to finish it one day and I'm going to keep it for myself. I did just swear, yep. Uh, this is the giveaway. Uh, all you have to do is follow me on whatnot, and you can win this card. I will sign it. I will sign it. No, I'll finish that for you one day. One day when I'm not busy anymore. That is a buyer giveaway. That's what we're giving away at the end. Uh, yeah, that's for buyers. A certificate of authenticity. Mm -hmm. uh, I have some printed. Um, I should add them into the whatnot store if people really want them. Yeah, with the last campaign on uh, Kickstarter, I started offering them as there was requests for them. Liquid spirit. 
So I'm being quiet because I'm concentrating. In that spidey life. Spidey is coming alive. Um, yes, you can. Can you leave a note on whatnot, Lou? Mm -hmm. Your brother said, you'll finish the Dark Knight cover and then you'll auction it on here and make me bid for it. <laughs> That sounds like a great idea. Let's do that. <laughs> Jeff Rob said, I'll buy it. There you go. You've got competition. Yeah, you got competition, mate. Shall we draw a winner for the trading card? Draw Let's do it. Okay. I'll give it an extra 10 seconds just to see the last second entries. Cookie said, I'll help drive the winner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, drive the winner for the trading card. Who's it going to be? Tiba 43. Tiba? I hardly know her. T-Bird. T-Bird? I hardly... Reverb. Good one. Very funny. Congratulations, T Bird. I hardly know Bird. Bada bing, bada boom. Jason Jackman is this remark being auctioned? It is, yes. There you go. For you, for free. Yes, this remark is being auctioned for free. It's not for free. Oh, wait, not for free. Yes, it is being auctioned. Now, I like to start with the webs tight together. And then as they go out, they split. It's a lot more than a two minute rebar. Well, then it's going to go for a lot more then, isn't it? I'm not drawing anything else at the moment, so... I'm not liable. All right. For some reason, this is not inking over those whites. Forgive my silence, folks. It's just because I'm concentrating. Because it's just I'm, these tools I'm not used to, so I really got to pay attention. Let's do a white border around Spidey as well to make him pop. He's getting a bit lost here. Yeah, so this is the new hip thing to do in comics, is get a remark. I get it. It's very cool. You know, if I had like a Batman number one by Capullo with a little remark on it, I would be very happy. Let's, let's even add some 
more little pattern there, some webs. This is when I get carried away and I ruin it. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. I'm drawing uh, just little webs. Uh, what is it? Can they get it? Yes. Uh, what, what am I actually? Oh, uh, I'm doing a remark on a Carnage cover that is going to be up for auction very soon. So you can bid on this to try and get it for yourself. Are you a Marvel artist? Yes, I am a Marvel comic book artist. I have the book that I'm drawing on currently. I was an artist in this book. So my name is Will Robson. I'm a comic book artist and writer. I've been working in the industry for nearly a decade. And I work for Marvel, DC, and many other companies currently working at DC. Anywhere at Robson Inc. on the internet, and that's R O B S O N I N K. Hang on. No, do it now. Sorry, folks, I'm concentrating. <sighs> Whose idea was this? Look, no, this was meant to be a two minute scare. Well, it's not. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna sign it. In paint. There we go. Finishing touches. Okay, there it is, the remark. Little Spidey head with some Spidey sense going on. On Carnage Reigns, this is a book that I worked on. I drew the inside of it, cover by the amazing Ryan Stegman, signed by me with a bunch of crazy drawings on it. I'm not used to doing these, but there we go. A very rare remark done by me. So let's start the bidding at 20 pounds. Oh, I hurt my neck, this one. <laughs> I'm getting a round of applause. Why are you getting a round of applause? Just because I'm great. Round of applause to my wife. My wife! Okay, starting the auction for this remark. Remark has started. Again, I just drew this on the stream now, signed it. This is the last Carnage Reigns I have on me. Um, yeah, lit rare remark done by me drawing Spider Man on the cover and yes i am a spider-man artist i have worked on spider-man and deadpool i've drawn him on plenty of covers and plenty of books he was in spider ham team up whole book of me drawing spider-man with spider ham in a team up there so legit spider-man drawing from a legit spider-man artist delman182 it's gone yeah delman182 congratulations delman182 You've won yourself a rarity from me. Sorry, I'm, I'm having a panic attack because paint's getting all over my desk. And now I've got paint on my fingers and I don't want to touch any comics until I sort this out because I do not want to get paint on people's stuff. 
So congratulations for making me very messy. Thank you. My wife has handed me a napkin, which she usually does when I spill spaghetti sauce all in my beard, which happens every time I eat spaghetti because I am a child. What's wrong with oversharing? <laughs> Right, let's get this out of here. I don't want paint to get on nothing. Put that up there. None of my nice new IKEA furniture in my office. All right. Put that back there so people can see the drawing. I'll do. Uh, I'll probably do a remark every single time now. I think that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to get better at doing them. And I've got a bunch of colors. But let's run something else now. What do we got here? We haven't done one of these Harley Quinns yet, so let's do this. I've got here Harley Quinn Romances. As you can see, it is a, a sort of mini trade. I just, oh, my book's right there. I did a short story in this book. Where is it? It starts here. Uh, and I co and to this Andrew Dare House. And I co created this new Batman villain called the Red Bomber. And I had a lot of fun doing this. This was with uh, an up and coming writer who I believe won a writing competition. And that's my short story in here. So it is a thicker book. If you like stuff, then this is your book to get. And we will start. The bidding now. Are you going to Summer MCM London, do you think? Um, not sure. You're, you're quite a last minute boy on that. I'm a last minute boy. Can I run Outbreaks too? Sure. Which cover? The main one? Yep, absolutely. We're going to get the run flowing now. Adam Smash. Adam Smash, congratulations. Where's my Sharpie? There it is. First one to you. There you go. Signed up for you. Give it the old blow. That's what she said. And. Harley sketch cards. Here we have a Harley Quinn sketch card drawn in when? 2016. 517. Ah, I drew this right after. Um, I think I drew this the day I finished my first job drawing Star Lord, which was my first ever job at Marvel Comics. Because if it's, yeah, 2016. Uh, May 17th. That's that's when I finished. So I guess I was so high on finishing drawing my first book that I just immediately started drawing something else. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I remember doing this. Uh, I will sign the back of this. So this is a fun little Harley Quinn sketch card. Thank you. Yeah, I did like a pink fade. Okay, I'm going to start the auction. And she's in her classic costume, which is Arguably the best costume. Only a scoop or crush. Finishes a marvel, decides instantly draw CC. Well, you gotta, you know, you gotta shake your options up. Going for 11. This is gonna be a signed piece of original art, folks. J J Sean is it? J Sean twenty three. Congratulations. That is to you. I really like the sketch card, so it's gonna be sad to see it go. All signed up for you. Thank you so much, J Sean, for your support. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you.
was the next thing someone said they wanted? Outbreaks. There was, um, they didn't specify what cover. Um, I'm going to assume if it's Outbreaks 2, then it's just a main one? Yeah, it said Outbreaks 2. Okay, here we got the main cover for Outbreaks issue number two. Cover by Alex Cormack with colors by me. That's right. I'm not just a pencil or inker. I do a little dabbling in coloring as well. Not that I had much to do in this because his artwork was absolutely incredible to start with. So issue three of this book is coming out April 15th on Kickstarter. And it's going to have a cover by the co-creator of The Walking Dead himself, Tony Moore, the guy who co-created Rick Grimes and a bunch of other classic characters. Look at this cover. What a beauty. So please come out for that because this book only exists with your support. And I cannot thank you enough for all you guys' support. You're incredible because, you know, I've been working in the industry for a while, but there's nothing like having people support your creator and stuff. It truly means the world to me. So seriously, thank you so much. Now let's run the cover to issue two, which will be signed by me. Alive. Oh, yeah. Are you awake now? <laughs> We've woken the Frenchie. Doesn't make her much quieter. To be no, she'll start snorting and sniffing. Cormax, congratulations. Alex Cormax, if that is you. <laughs> this one's for you. Get that signed right up for you. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. All signed up. Thank you so much for your support. What's next? Does anybody want me to run anything else? What have we got up here? We got a bunch of jokers. We got a flash. Remember, let's run this flash. Do you have the link to Kickstarter. Do you have a pre-launch page? I don't because you have to fulfill your Kickstarter first in order to get a pre-launch page. And since we've had constant delays and only received our print order a few days ago, I've had to delay pre-launching it. The freaking project itself is not even approved yet by Kickstarter. So it's all very last minute and I do apologize for that. But I guarantee you, come rain or come shine, April 15th, it's going to be live. You follow if you social media. You can get the info then. You can, and also you can go to my website, speechcomics.com, and if you sign up for my newsletter, I will let you know when we actually launch live. And I don't send any other emails. I'm not like a weekly newsletter or anything like that. I literally only email people on my newsletter when I launch a new project. So like that's like two, maybe three emails a year. Okay, we have here a very shiny textless flash cover. I had the privilege of working on Flash issue 798. This was the, felt to me like the first time working on a proper title. Like, you know, this is the Flash. Look at the lineage. Issue 798. That's exciting stuff to me. See my names there. This is a complete, super shiny, textless cover um, with mixed art by me and another amazing artist. Uh, yeah, this was a really cool experience to be able to leave such a tiny mark, but a, a huge mark on my career working on such an iconic character. So let's run it. The super shiny cover. No. Shout out to my wife who's working super hard behind the scenes to make sure you all have all the links and to make sure all the Patreon stuff is up to date. Again, if you want to win this cover, then you sign up to my Patreon as a, a top tier member and you'll automatically be entered in a chance to win that when we raffle it off. Jossie99. Jossie99, nine nine, this one is for you. Congratulations. This is a really, really cool cover. Boom. Signed by me. I'm seeing notifications pop up that people are signing up to the newsletter. Thank you so much. Again, if you head to speechcomics.com on the main website, you sign up to the newsletter, 
and I will only email you when I go live with my next project. And you want to come out for the day one because day one people get free stuff. Oh, that's the other item. I just remembered it. It's a signed A5 print from me. Oh, nice. So you get the the Tony Moore cover, just the inks, and I'll sign it. So if you come out day one, you get free stuff. And I wanted it to be at least like a 25 quid value for free. There we go. Signed flash for you, Justin. Thank you so much. You should also follow on social media because I know there are certain days that you, if people up their pledge on Kickstarter, you... That's right. Just pay attention to my campaign all uh, throughout my social media because I, I do loads of stuff where some days I'm giving away free trading cards. Some days I'm I'm giving away free signed comics for like the next backer and stuff. I try to make it as fun as possible. Um, so yeah, pay attention to that stuff. But there's always a chance to win stuff over here. What time are we live until tonight? Um, we'll probably go for... Well, we'll see. Either another half an hour or an hour. It depends on how much we can stomach. We got bills to pay. What shall we run next? Uh, let's have a giveaway going on in the background. Let's do another. Let's do the final giveaway for a Matrix Z trading card. They're all done. Oh, are they? Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind then. You don't get that. Let's do the big trouble in a China giveaway. This is for people that have purchased something so far on the show. This is going to be a free book to a lucky winner who has already purchased something. If you want a chance to win this right now, if you look in my shop, you can buy a signed a5 uh, print for me, and then you'll automatically be entered into winning this. So the giveaway is live on that. So we'll have that running in the background. I'm going to sign this right now so I can put it aside. So let's get the signature right there. So this was from a Big Trouble Little China book I did where I did 12 connecting covers. So if you connect all the covers, they make one huge image that's a huge big trouble little china thing and i drew this in 2017. do you have any harley that's not a comic think my wife would kill me if it by the yes i do i have probably one actually no oh, there's two things i have a harley quinn sketch cover that i did in 2016 and i have a harley quinn post-it note let's run the sketch cover though because this is a, i know that we got some big ticket items that i want to check off the list so this is the harley quinn sketch cover that i drew at a convention back in 2016 Lots of fun stuff like little little Batman as a keychain on a gun. She's got a medal with the little the hammer on it. It's a very nice piece that I've had in my collection for a while. I know my wife really likes this piece, but we gotta fix our plumbing, so it's gotta go. So let's start that auction. I can click start auction if you want. Nope. Let's see what we have here. Do you have any X Men art? Um, we did. X Men last time. Oh, there is one. Yeah, there's um, Colossus. Hmm? Thank you, buddy. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, this has been in my collection for a long time. Be sad to see go, but you can't keep all your art, right? Jay Sean 23. Oh, wow, you got yourself a bargain there 22 pounds. Great job, buddy! Congratulations. Let me just make sure on the back it's got my signature on it, it does not. Oh, 
Bada bing, bada boom. Modern signature on the book. I used to do like a weird little WR in a square. Um, I don't know why. I think it's because Greg Capulli used to do a, a G, C on like his 90s work. Absolute bargain. Congratulations. Let's do the final Harley Quinn original art I have available today. We've, we sold so much Harley Quinn stuff today. Stick that over this face there. This is a Harley Quinn drawn on a post-it note. Something inspired by the artist Todd Nock. He does a lot of post-it note drawings. So it's actually quite good paper to draw on. Uh, this was drawn in 2017, April 14th. Uh, which is coming up. That's weird. So let's start the bid. She can milk you too, though. What the heck are you talking about, buddy? This is a very PC show, I have you know. Besides the ones where would. Four twenty is your birthday. 420, bro. We better, bro. Jay Sean with the Hollies wins. Congratulations, Jay Sean. Let me put my signature on the back there. There we go. Uh, funny enough, uh, your birthday, April 20th, is the day that I got offered my first Marvel gig in 2016. I remember it. 420. 2016. About to draw a winner. About to draw a winner on this cover. I think so. I saw someone say, if I win this, then I'm going to have to get all the other ones signed. Yep. I do have all of them, so I'll continue to do them as giveaways. Dean's Comics. Dean's Comics. Congratulations to Dean's Comics. Now you got to find them all. Let's keep it rolling. What shall we do next? What shall we do? So many books. What have we not run yet? Have we done? We haven't done the MFCC. I ran a lot of these last time, but I've still got some left. This is the Middle East Film and Comic Con exclusive, limited to 100 ever printed. This is what I did with the good folks at Comic Cave, as you can see here. It was recently their 10 year anniversary. This excludes the uh, backup story of Dead Eye Dick. Uh, and this was available out in the Middle East. That's why it's an AED. So let's run that bad boy. Starting at just five squids for a signed comic. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. I like this because it's got the uh, the zombies here. Now, in issue two, this is the inside cover, which is fun as well. Running it, running it. Rage Time Gaming is winning. Three... Two, one. Yay! Congratulations, Rage Time Gaming, on your victory. Let's get this signed up for you. You don't have to use it. Congratulations, Rage Time Gaming, a signed limited edition comic for you of the Matrix Z, a character I'm very fond of. What else have we not run? If anybody wants me to run anything, just let me know. Shall we do another Joker, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Let's run one of these. We've got here the Joker. Oh, did someone want something? Gunbuster Dumber said any more of them. I, I'm, I think you might mean the MEFCC. Oh, sure, I can run another MEFCC. And then your brother said Joker. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we can run another MUFCC. Yeah, we'll run that and then we'll run Joker's. 
running another one. And then we'll run Joker. Again, this will be signed. Start the auction now. Do, 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 do. I colored this cover as well. So it's pencils, inks, and colors by yours truly. Limited to 100. Pretty much only available in the Middle East now, besides me. Come, metal, congratulations. Honking is a thing that all of us release. There you go. Now playing in a theatre near you. Thank you so much for your support, Camille. That's for you. All right. We're going to run a Joker. I hardly know her. Number seven. I think this is the main cover. Yes, it is. This is the main cover. Um, I can click start. I can do the auction on my end. My, my, I think my dog needs to go to the toilet. So my wife's just going to run out real quick. And let my dog have a pee and a poo, if you really want to know. Because it's about that time of the day. Uh, so, yeah, this is The Man Who Stopped Laughing. I did the backup story in this. DC. And we're going to run the auction right now. I think I can click up over here. Uh, start auction. There we go. Uh, there won't be any more remarks uh, this evening, uh, but the next stream there will be remarks. And I will be streaming again in May. Uh, I don't know when because I think I'm going to be in Dubai early May. So it might be, it could either be late April or mid-May, around my birthday actually, that I'll do uh, another one. But I, yeah, I'm going to start doing a remark every single time. So I'll remark some jokers, and I'll remark this, that, and the other. Just the Obi Wan wins it for. I, I don't know how much it went for. <laughs> Congratulations. That's for you, buddy. Thank you so much for your support. And we've returned. Just the Obi Wan has won this. You all right? Did you go? Wait, I can I can confirm that my dog has used the toilet. So we're all very happy that she went wee wees. Uh, yeah, you could have remarked this cover with Batman. Yeah. Shiny referee. Shiny referee? Yeah. All right. That's enough of that noise. Abs. Luna. No one wants to hear you licking yourself. <laughs> Someone's asked to see the dog. <laughs> uh, I could try and get it in at some point. I don't know how the camera's pretty close. Let me move this. <laughs> That's her big head there. There we go. That's the little baby that runs this roost. She's very cute and sweet. Okay, we got a Rotten Reverie. Shiny card. These are brand new trading cards printed for Outbreaks, the trading card game. If you didn't know, there's a trading card game accompanied with Outbreaks, a fully playable game that's kind of like Pokemon, kind of like um, Magic the Gathering. Fully playable game. This is a shiny version of the character of Rotten Referee. We've got two of these available. Two available. Stun the bed at just one pounds. I will be signing it. And this is uh, another McFarlane homage cover that will be available in the next campaign. It's an homage to like 
Amazing Spider-Man 301 or something like that. The one with Venom standing over Spider-Man. Scotty Holly coming in right at the end there and much in the clutch doing it. Congratulations, pal. My dog is, I think, being sick. <laughs> so my wife's dealing with that. There you go. Well, my dog's being sick. She's sick of this stream. That's sign for you, pal. Thank you so much. All right. Does anybody want me to run something else? What do you want me to run? Look forward to getting all the cards to play. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. She's becoming a zombie. Ah! Hulk, sure thing. Let's run the Hulk. We have a post-it note here of the Hulk. This was drawn in 2017 by me on a green post-it note. Let's run it. And we'll be signing the back of this. Really fun to draw on post-it notes. Yeah, the fun thing is that since they're all one color, uh, it makes all the other colors blend really nicely. Rage Time Gaming is the winner. Thank you so much, Rage Time Gaming. Time to rage. Good day. Congratulations, Bob. That is for you. Uh, what did someone else say? They, they said another a Joker, right? Oh, the Joker final sketch thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll give. Uh, we'll do a couple more books first, so that people have a chance to be do entered in that. Trading cards. I have tons of trading cards. Let's have a look here. On offer today, we have the Outbreaks Theater. Now, if you backed issue two then you are going to get this with your order. This is the, the since people backed it, the, the Kickstarter, they get the Alex Cormack Outbreaks Theater trading card. So if you missed that campaign but want to get this, this is the only way to get it because I won't be selling those and they won't be available in the booster packs. We've got one Rotten Referee, two Rotten Cops, a Noir version of the Rotten Referee. These are the, the super limited versions, the super rarest of the bunch and we've got a bunch of matrix z cards printed a hundred of them and once they're gone they're gone so those are the cards who's gonna deal the cards who no got a six oh which one do i want to put up uh let's see let's do what do we what, what do we just do just did shiny referee. Shiny referee. Now let's do a noir one. So these are the more. This is the more rarer one. Um, I only ever print fifty of the noir, just like I only ever print fifty noir covers. So let's run it. The noir rotten referee. Showing off my very pretty inks that I did. We are running it. Rage time again coming in there. Someone is a fan of trading cards. Congratulations, Rage Time Gaming. Get that signed up for you. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Yes, sign God. Let's do. Let's do one of each, shall we? A shiny rotten cop. Okay, start the auction. Starting the auction now. This is art by Monica McCagney and Cyril Vincent. 
if you play this this is the points it costs to play it at the top its special move is search your graveyard for a character card put it in your hand it has two attack five defense and it is immune to getting infected its class is undead and it's a zombie and it has unlimited deck limits you could you have a whole deck of these if you wanted jeff rob jeff rob congratulations jeff rob That is a sign card for you, Jeff Rob, of Rotten Cop. Should we do a shiny outbreaks theater? Yes, we shall. So again, these were the cards that came with for every backer of issue two. If you're a backer of the second Kickstarter campaign, this is going to be coming with your order. But now this is the only place to get it here. The Alex Cormack Outbreaks Theater. Special shiny card. Heal any zombie card or this card by 2 HP. So this is basically in the game. This is like your outpost. You see it says outpost at the top. And you're, you've you got to protect this. It's got 30 health. So all the other cards are trying to take over. Johnny 606. Johnny 606. Nice to see that it's a bunch of different people interested in the cards as well. Johnny 606, that card is for you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy it. I love trading cards. I'm very much into the trading cards. I very much enjoyed putting the card game together. The last card we're running is the shiny Whatnot exclusive. You see at the top there? It's got the Whatnot branded logo. This is only available here on Whatnot. 100 ever printed. Once it's gone, it's gone. Start now. We got a bunch of people bidding on it. If anyone misses out, we've got a couple more of those, so they can just request them in the chat. Yeah, absolutely. There'll be giveaways, and I'll be running them for a few months. So if you miss out, don't worry about it. Jeff Rob, again. Jeff Rob with the win. Congrats to you. And there's a preview there of what the new cover to issue one is going to look like for when we launch on April 15th, the next Kickstarter. Oh, cover G. Cover G? Mm -hmm. Which one's that again? Noir, All right, a request for cover G, which is the Noir version, only limited to 50, ever printed, never going to be printed again after 50, showing off the, the inks that I did for my homage cover to Tom McFarlane for issue two of Outbreaks. Let's run it. <laughs> This retails for a value of $24.99. So grab yourself a bargain. And like, like all the other comics, I will be signing it. And the reason the price is so high is because there are such limited copies. So if you get it, you'll be only one of 50 that have it. Cool, Max. Thank you guys, all of you, so much for all your support again. We thought the first one was was a fluke. But no, you guys are coming out strong for this one again. So thank you so much. Enjoy your fashion, social media. Yep. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can follow me at Robson Inc. That's R-O-B-S-O-N-I-N-K. Where you can see what I'm working on. I'm currently working on a secret DC project that I cannot talk about, but you'll be seeing me talk about outbreaks a hell of a lot coming up. Or you can follow me uh, on my YouTube channel, where I sort of give you a glimpse into what it's like to be a comic book artist. Or you can follow me on my Patreon to win this sketch. If you sign up to the top tier on Patreon, you will have a chance to win this sketch, which would be 
Very cool. Now, what do we got that so we haven't run? We pretty much run one of everything, right? Let's do one more of these. We've run lots of issue twos, but we have not ran much of issue one, so let's run another what not exclusive issue number one for outbreaks with the very jazzy shiny pattern all over the book only available and whatnot didn't print many of these and it's of issue one and it's all of issue one on the inside let's do it and this will be signed obviously Signed by myself. I really love the pattern. It's like a hexagonal pattern to the shininess. It's really cool. Cormax. Cormax, man, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate all of this. A signature for you. Thank you, Cormax. You rock. My dog's farted, and the roll room smells like farts now. So she's been very entertaining on that front. Uh, did we ever run a textless uh, one? Textless now. All right, we've ran every single cover except for one Outbreaks issue two cover so far. And that is the textless version of the cover. Now, this was an interesting one because this was only available as an add-on or if you bought the Alex Cormac fan pack um, because I just wanted to make it feel a bit more exclusive. So very rare that you don't get any of like the text on stuff. I love this type of stuff. I'll be doing this for Tony Moore's cover as well. So this is the last uh, Outbreaks cover that we've yet to run yet for issue two. So let's run it. Yeah, Virgin cover. I, I would call it Virgin, but I think um, I guess you sense it. it gets you like you don't get uh, it, it messes up Kickstarter if you say the word Virgin, basically. So I just call it the textless one. No virgins allowed. No virgins allowed on Kickstarter. Comagog, 1981. Congratulations. This one is for you. Bada bing, a bada boom. I signed up a just for you. Anybody else want me to run anything else? Or should we start right from the dam? What do you think? We can run a couple more. And then, because we've been going for almost three hours. Three hours. Christ on his dick. Right, well, let's go back into the world over here. Let's, we haven't run this joker yet, so let's run this joker. All right, we got another joker for you. The Man Who Stopped Laughing, issue number six, with cover number four, I believe. No, wait, cover number... Yeah, cover number four. Variant cover by Jeff Spokes. I drew the backup in this story. I had a lot of fun. Joke is my favorite comic book character of all time. So I had a blast on this book. Let's run it. That is a whole lot. Yeah, me and my brother, we measure three hours in Lord of the Rings movies. So we've done a whole Lord of the Rings movie of auction. Well, my dog's falling back asleep. She'll be snoring again soon. Z10. Congratulations, Z10. I hardly know 10. This one is for you. Proof of signature. What else we got cooking up here? 
Ah. Did you run that? Try to get I have, if people are interested. Nah, we'll save it. We'll save it. Have we run all the um the original art trading cards? I think we have, haven't we? I can't remember. <laughs> How about we do let's do this Joker giveaway, shall we? Here is an A4 sketch I did of the Joker. Aldi Noda. This was a quick sketch I did. I was trying out um, a brush. You can see the brush strokes here. I was experimenting with a brush, pen. Um, so yeah, this is for people that have uh, bought something so far on this live stream as a thank you. This will come with one of your packages. And it will annoy my wife because it's A4 and nothing else is A4, so she'll have to send a bigger package. It's a buyer appreciation giveaway, but we'll run an auction in the background. So if anyone wants to have a chance of winning the giveaway, they can buy something. That's right. We've also got A5 prints in the store. If you want to buy one of those, be in with a chance. That's right. Join the giveaway. She's on it. So you gotta you gotta buy to get the supply. So what would you like to auction off in the background? Let's do one of these. Cover D. PlayStation 1. Homage cover. What a fun, fun cover. I love the way this one turned out. Resident Evil was hugely inspirational for my love of zombies. So how could I not homage one of the best video games of all time, Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation 1? Let's run it. Also, thank you guys that have been here on your Saturday for like three hours just watching me say stupid things and be a stupid person. This will become signed, obviously. <laughs> what a bunch of losers for watching the stream. Oh Comic art again. Cleaning up. Bada bing. Bada, I guess that's my <laughs> catchphrase tonight. Bada bing, bada boom. Your new really yeah, up. my new jersey is coming up. When I get tired, I, I go full jersey. There you go. There's your signature. Thank you so much, Comic Art, for all your support on the stream and the last stream as well. Three minutes left on the giveaway. Three minutes left on the giveaway. That's enough to run another mm -hmm. thing. Let's do um, another what not exclusive issue one. As these are going like hot cakes. The cakes that are hot. This is exclusive to whatnot. Cover one. Let's run it. This is Outbreaks issue one. First issue to own with the, uh, oh no, the MEFCC is the one at the first letter box. Second one to have it with the shiny cover. It's got like a hexagonal pattern. Cover by Monica McCagney, artist in the book. It's a good one. Only ever sold on whatnot, right? Only ever sold on whatnot. Rage Time Gaming swooping in right at the end there, swooping it up. Swibbity swabbity. Congratulations. That is for you. Congratulations. Another signed comic. How long until the uh two minutes left on the giveaway? Wow, we did that one. We did that one quick then. Yeah. Um let's see here. Let's do cover C, Outbreaks Issue 2. I think this one came out really nice. This is the McFarlane homage cover. Issue 2, which will be signed by me. Uh, let us run it. I'm a big fan of your Batman art. I also 
got the Kurt Angle comic you drew, which is absolutely epic. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the way I drew that cover. I was a bit burnt out in the industry, but I'm a huge wrestling fan. I think my Mankind cover is a lot better than that. But I appreciate you. But yeah, I'm gonna keep my. I'm. I will say now that I'm actually doing Batman work currently right now with DC. Um, Batman's not in it, but it's in the Batman universe, which is fun. Jeff Rob, Jeff Rob, this one's for you. Congratulations, a lovely cover. Really love the way this one turned out. This is actually one of the ones that when I saw the letterbox, I was like, man, I want to have letterboxes on my co comics. I love, this is like super nostalgic nostalgic, nostalgic for me to see a letterbox. So one of the inspirations why I have letterboxes. Thank you so much. 20 seconds left on the giveaway. Give away. People don't have a chance to win the Joker. Who's going to win the A4 Quick Sketch Joker? I had to get in color too. Yeah, no, I get that. Three, two, one. I pick up two covers signed by you. Meta Rising. Oh my God. Drawing a winner now. Drawing a winner. Scott Holly. Hey, congratulations, Scott Holly. Well deserved to Scotty Holly. Congratulations, bud. Meta Rising. Oh, that's like that is a huge throwback. That is uh, one of my indie comics I worked on before I broke into Marvel and DC, so that's crazy. All right, I think uh, I'm winding down now, right? Mm -hmm. We can do the, uh, unless there's any requests, we can do the yeah, it, it, the I think I'm pretty much wrapped on the selling, unless anybody has some last minute requests of something they really want me to run, because I'm happy to run for whatever people want. But that why I think we're going to move to giving away the Patreon comic. Uh, that's for anybody who signed up at the five pound level or the ten pound level on my Patreon. They all have a chance to win uh, a signed comic. And I think what we're going to do is the whatnot exclusive as as the free signed comic of the month. And then we're going to be giving away the main drawing. So last chance, anybody want me to run anything from the store, any of the Outbreaks Issue 2 covers, uh, the whatnot exclusive main cover, the trading cards, Joker, Harley Quinn, anything anybody wants me to run, this is the last chance to do it. Looks like it's pretty silent, so I think we're ready to move on. To the Patreon. You have that all set up then. Oh. All right. Up first. We're going to be giving this away to the Patreon comic giveaway. There we go. These are all the members here. Let me get this in the camera. We're giving this away to members of the Patreon. Anybody who's signed up at a five pound. Oh, I already clicked the button. It's spinning. Oh, my God. Scotty Harley. Congratulations, Scotty. You just won this. I don't know if you bought one or not. If you did, you got duplicates. Scotty's a lucky boy tonight. Congratulations, Scotty. That's going to you. That's the free giveaway of the month in terms of a comic. And now it is time for giving away this original piece of art that we drew tonight. Must be my lucky night. Oh, he's still in the chat. Cool. Yes, I think it is your lucky night, Scotty. If you have a wife, then... No. <laughs> No. Then, then you've got a happy life. No. Um, okay, we're giving this away. Uh, this is for the members of the Patreon art giveaway. I've got the wheel here. Let's see who's going to be the winner. Um, let's spin it up, shall we? Whoop. 
Tapter spin. We're spinning. Who is going to win this piece of art? Felipe! Congratulations, Felipe. You have won my first time ever drawing Jimmy from my book, Outbreaks. Great job. So, folks, thank you so much again for joining me on this. I will be doing another live stream soon. I'll be doing one uh, around the beginning or middle of May. I'll launch the show so you can follow along with it if you follow me already on here. Uh, and I'll be doing uh, more signed stuff. I'll, I'll go into the... Is anybody interested in uh, toys? Because I've got a bunch of spawn toys in my garage that I'm looking to sell for when me and Todd co-created the Bum Bums together, which were these cute little spawny things. Um, anyway, please follow me on my social media at Robson Inc. Uh, or sign up to my newsletter on my website at speechcomics.com to be notified when we launch... The next issue of Outbreaks, which is coming April 15th, part three of three of Rotten Luck. So if you want to complete the whole first arc of our book, it's coming April 15th, cover by Tony Moore, the co-creator of The Walking Dead. My goodness. Thank you again for everyone for your support. You've truly been amazing. We are going to finally get a plumber to fix the sinks downstairs. I cannot wait for that. I cannot wait to use the toilet downstairs and not have to run to another sink to wash my hands. That's oversharing in a nutshell, right? My Bye. wife is very embarrassed, but that's the way we're living our lives. So thank you guys again so much for your support. Honestly, means the world to me. Thank you so much. And oh yeah, and listen to Batman the Animated Series podcast if you want to. I co-host a show with my brother. He's a doofus. There we go. <laughs> go listen to Batman the Animated Series podcast or follow it at Batman TAS Pod, anyone on social media. Chef, definitely check out TikTok for all of my brother's amazing, funny videos that he edits. And yeah, see you guys on the next one. Sometime next month, and I still don't know how to end the stream. Catch you on the flippity flip. <laughs>